I'll, I guess I'll intro because I'm the one starting the career and this is Jabroni Tony of Woot TVM and we got to get a submission here. I don't know, you can you can explain the submission. You, you know him better than I do. Uh, it's good old Nolan Alighieri. He's uh, the AM Dole on the website and he also has not applicable. He streams and stuff. And uh, now he's got to put his money his, where his mouth is because he's, he's an RPG maker reviewer like us and he's got a game and now we're reviewing his game. I will <laughs> say he is one of our most, if not our most loyal <laughs> peer, I guess, in terms of, well, I shouldn't say peer, I don't make games for RPG, but, but he's one of the most, uh, what is that word, like interacts with us, most consistently leaves us comments and watches our videos. So definitely appreciate that. But yeah, he knew what he's getting into when he submitted this game. So yeah. We're going to be assholes. Would he, yeah. would he have it any other way? I don't think so, because, you know, that's what, uh, we, that's, that's what he wants coming. He knows sending us us, that's what he's going to get, so. Yeah, and the last time, because the reason why Tony's playing today is because I already played the uh, beta however long ago that was, so I wanted someone fresher, and uh, or I thought it would make more sense if someone fresher plays the game to get that sense of what's going on. And back then I had given what I consider high praise, which is that I thought that it felt feels like a game. Um, this was a long time ago. I don't think Nolan really understood how I describe things, so maybe he felt that was an insult, but no, <laughs> that's that's really good that it feels like a game. That's like impressive for RPG Maker. For RPG Maker, that's how low the standard is. Is this video game a game or not? That's the standard. I mean, micro indie, I would say, because definitely no. like Unity games can get pretty pretty shitty when they're on the same level sure. of like budget it's like a tech demo where it's like i made a 3d guy that can move around and he can pick up coins and that like that's it when you play a unity game <laughs> oh, okay yeah um, yeah yeah for sure but you know they have a lot more stuff they have to do potential uh well, anyway the game is in a beta it's not fully released yet and he describes it as being pretty jank uh he calls it a beta test i guess i've done this spiel before that um I'd probably actually describe this as pre-alpha, because as far as I know, um, the Golden Path isn't completed. So from what I understand of game dev, at least in terms of traditional, and not this, this weird new stuff, new way of doing things is kind of confusing because everything's like public facing. So you have betas that are very polished, you know, because uh, truth be told, people can't handle a real beta, like average people. So, you know, a pre-alpha generally means in traditional game dev that the golden path isn't done yet and once it is then it's an alpha but then again uh in traditional game dev when you're in pre-alpha there's still a lot of like white boxing and like just stuff missing and like t-posing and stuff doesn't work yet like it's just all about getting the game you know stuff to show the publishers and investors and whatnot and uh you know this this game doesn't do that it's very polished obviously there's custom graphics fiddle actually has custom sprites which is kind of cool uh which you know is probably why he says it's a beta because so much of this stuff is actually working even if the game can't be completed but yeah i don't know i just wanted to give that spiel because i like to act like i know things <laughs> fair <laughs> i will say uh a little bit of technical score knockdown uh, we went to the options earlier. So this game, I play on a, what, 2560 by something something monitor. So the resolution seems kind of, you, like you can see, look at, you can see like in the an, ampersand, you can see the, the pixel texture. It's uh, cause it's stretched. And, and before we started recording, Woot TVM told me to press F4 to go to see how big it is. And it was about a fourth of my screen. <laughs> Uh, the window went to about a fourth of my monitor size. So that's how stretched it is right now. And then when I pressed uh, F4 again, it stayed windowed mode, but filled my screen with windowed mode. And then I went to options and it still thought it was, it still had full screen even though it was windowed mode. So I had to switch off of that and then switch it back on to actually go back to full screen. So take that 0.5 technical score. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna be in that. No, just kidding. But, but seriously, I will. <laughs> but I don't know. If, I don't know if F4 is supposed to be a dev shortcut for RPG Maker. I don't know, dude. But maybe. Uh, I, mean, you know. I think it's a 
HTML shortcut, actually. Oh, is it? Okay. I think so. I think that's why, because that's why, like, F12 opens, like, this console log that I don't think you'll get unless you're playing, and maybe you'll get it. I don't think you will. Gotcha. Um, but, yeah, F4 is, like, full screen. F5 is restart, which I really find incredibly dumb. Like, why isn't, the, why isn't it the other way around? Because, you know, Alt F4 is, like, closed program, so why not F4 restart program, all right? That makes sense to me. True. Big true. Uh, but for some reason, it's the other way around. But I don't think it's an RPG Maker thing. I think that's an HTML5 thing. I could be wrong. Anyway, right, let's get this. Uh, let's get this going. Yeah, looks going like the in. mouse works, so that's good. You didn't arbitrarily turn it off like some other games. I was gonna say, with, I, I use push to talk to you know because I have a lot of background noise. So I, but my push talks my mouse. So I was gonna say, if I can't play with my mouse, then Woot's gonna play the game. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here we go. Game rules. Options cannot... So I don't, I'm don't. i not going to read everything. I mean, we kind of got more lax. I'm just going to go read some of it and then go meta as I'm reading it in my mind. <laughs> just to yeah, get through it faster. I mean, for this one, this is like... I don't think there's a lot of stories. So I don't have to worry about that. But things that are like tutorials and like... Uh, system settings. Like, whatever. We don't need to read that. Yeah. Anime. Anime is happening. She has oh that the cutesy where her, her eyes are below like the half, the the midpoint of her face because <laughs> you know that's how you make kids look quote unquote cute. Mo moe 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 yeah moe that's it yeah. Oh, that's, oh that's chicken, is that not a debug? I think I've heard him talk about these chickens. They're debug tools. Oh uh oh this is very alpha e alpha. I don't think he's supposed to leave that there. Whoops. I am impressed with this. Here we go. Clicky, clicky, click. I'm playing it. I'm clicking out of, uh, what is that word? Action key to jump? It should work. Action key to space. Yes. I wonder if you have to press space or can click. Ah, did it maybe. Just have competence. It's like confidence and competence. Is it supposed to be cute? Uh, I think she's just dumb. <laughs> Oh, she's incompetent. Says, says words wrong. Funny if there's an echo on that jump sound. Yep. Or reverb. I always forget the difference between the two. For sure. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, reverb. Burp. Whoa! Animation. Uh oh. Uh. Battle. We're being fought. Oh no, it's RTP. What's RTP? Well, I guess not. It's it's what it, it's similar. Oh, to that. Me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Me. That uh, her. Her. So yeah. I, sat, I sat close to my, uh, my mic. I might be allowed for a little bit. Yeah, I think he said uh, that that's coming. Oh, okay. So for right now, it's RTP. I'm gonna panic. Oh, okay, is that good. the only thing you could do? It is. I'm glad. I'm glad he's gonna fix it because he should know what we're gonna say about this. It's kind of loud now. I don't know if it's check levels, but like the sound effects are really loud. I think they're okay, but yeah, we might adjust that a little. I don't know. I'll, I'll I'll drop the volume a little bit. Get up, Fidel Castro. <laughs> so that is something that uh, he mentions. It's. Uh, Vital? Fiddle instead oh. of Fidel. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, that's not working this, on me. But Mr. Crystal is hurting me. I don't know what to do. Oh, yeah. Crystal, like, okay, I see. I see. It's like the Rugrats style of dialogue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rugrats. That'll, that'll be the thumbnail. Rugrats, our Purdue Maker game. Long. <laughs> yes, exactly. They bait people in. I'm clicking, by the way, and it always goes either up or all the way down. I guess it goes up always if I left clicks. Oh, really? Yeah. So when I was at a hundred, it would it drops to zero because it's trying to go up and it's resetting. Yeah, that's the RPG Maker thing. I think you can press left and right though. But I'm not sure. Yeah, I, I can. That's what I did eventually. Yeah, but you know, okay. I'm not. I don't live in 20, 20, 2002 right now, but I feel like I am. Espresso, let's go. Espresso. I'm being an asshole. I'm sorry, Nolan, but not really. <laughs> you knew what you did. We're having fun with this. Uh, okay, I do like coffee. 
Latte Healings. 33, Cappuccino 66, Espresso 100. I'm like, uh, heal items do not offer any additional benefits. What? All right, well, oh, there's limits to how many you can carry. My guess oh, is wow. Mend also gives you some bonuses and heals you or something. Yeah. I haven't looked at it yet, though. Interesting. Has details and items and skills? No. <laughs> mm, no, we're going advanced. All right. I'm not going to read it, but we're going advanced. <laughs> <laughs> Sports skill, mend the wound. Fiddle's primary recovery skill. Healing is determined by falling, falling function. Yes. After healing, a brief moment of damage reduction is applied to the fiddle. A stack of healthy is applied to fiddle. Healthy stacks will slightly reduce enemies' chance to apply stacks while covering a small amount of health for each turn. So yeah, it's just like... Mend has extra benefits, so healing items are stronger, it seems like. Faux show. Especially with those heavy, heavy limits on how many healing items you could use, I would say. Use them all the time! Might have to be a little liberal. I wanna, yeah. I'm playing a demo and I know I am, I'm cheating. No, I'm just kidding. I know, it reminds me of your game where you want people to use their stuff. Yeah. But I mean, like, those limits are like 3, 2, and 1, so like, that's, a, that's pretty huge, like... Kind of like have to use them, I feel like. I guess we'll see how often you get stuff. Uh. Fidel Castro. Heal, you are in danger. I just want to say, and it's not to me maybe being contrarian slightly. I don't want, I hate saying I'm, I'm an asshole because I think if you tell people you're an asshole, you're not actually an asshole. I'm not trying to be an asshole, but I'm going to call her Fidel Castro because it's funny to me. <laughs> and uh, I'm just going to do it. All right, engage. Wait, supporto. Uh, I think it wants you to heal. This is a bug. This is a bug. She can do something, just not the thing they're asking. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Alright, I know. Uh, you have an item. I think that's what it wants you to do, right? Because you got this. Oops, I held my push. Oh, uh, RTP sounds. Faint. Yeah, come on. Come on. I expected all new sounds from the sound guy. For real. Hopefully, hopefully it's a work in progress, and he's not actually okay with this. Yeah. You want to read this? Uh, poise is Fidel's defensive stance. When using poise, there are three functions that occur: reduce incoming damage by half, reduce the value of con P based on Fiddle's magical attributes, reduce the chance of enemy stacks. When Fiddle is low on health and or con P, using poise is an effective strategy for survival. So this is like the guard function, I assume. That's what, that's what I'm guessing, though. Know? Yeah, uh, use poise to build con P and brace for strong attacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, so what's con, or what the hell's con P? I think it's like mana. Oh, okay. Oh, it is, okay. Oh, you gotta build build confidence. Oh okay, good, I can cancel the right click. Yeah. Oh, the RCP, it's, Bonk. it's awful, it's awful. <laughs> he wants you to build more, I guess. Yeah, I got a 10. I do. Th okay, there we go. Okay, the heals. It gives you some. Okay. How much con P do you need? Oh, do you want to use get away? Is that what you're supposed to do? I have no idea, but I'm gonna. I'm trying to break the game. So. <laughs> okay, it looks like it because okay, that was a cool. thing that happened there. I don't want to do this. So you'll resign every time there is. Oh, this is a person talking. So you'll resign every time there's a challenge. Yeah, it's like a narrator, I guess. No, I. Go ahead, cower. Where will that lead you? Well, where you run to, every direction leads to nowhere. This spineless fear strengthens the challenge. Only confidence can overcome your obstacles. Boy! Yeah, use your fists. Unlock machine gun. Engage. Blustery day. Blustery day. Fiddle will strike with her weapon, dealing damage and regaining some confidence. And different weapons will change the effect of the skill. Attack damage is based on... Oh, it's about showing us a formula. I mean, you could just put that info in, like, the skill info. I don't know. True. It is an effective skill for engaging the enemy while also restoring some con P. Different weapons may also help Fiddle apply stacks or deal elemental damage. Hmm. Alright. Oh, plus three. Magic skill that deals... Damage single is 30. Okay, well, I guess I have to read about these stacks, but I'm kind of like reading too much of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It has a 30% chance to apply a stack of wind. 
Each stack amplifies the damage and side effects of its element. Wind will steal enemies' comp and restore Fiddle's comp based on 10% of Fiddle's magic. Shock has an 18% chance of preventing turn actions. Burn will deal damage over time based on 20% of Fiddle's attack. All stacks have a 10% chance of expiring after 8 turns. 8 turns? That's so long! Uh, juggling happens, juggling oh, happens when changing to the adjacent effective element. It will greatly amplify the damage, but remove all stacks. Enemies are not resistant to elemental damage, but may resist or be weak to receiving elemental stacks. So um, I gotta remember this order, or is it listed somewhere in, in the battle? Uh, I think you just. I think it just means like if you change, like it doesn't have to be in the order necessarily. Gotcha. Equip, equip fists. Boring, boring sword. sword. What did that not fit? Go back to boring sword. Replaced, yeah. Cup clips off the screen. The D at the end. Oh yeah. Yep. Bum bum bum. Come on. Technical score. Technical. The most one well, not the most important. <laughs> one of the most important kind of. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, I didn't mean to click. But, oh, oh, it's save. It wants you to save, yeah. Oh right, he said something about saving uh, being important. No, because I think I think the law I think the T T L D R is just save whenever you're in town, because uh, his auto save system isn't like fully how he wants it to be yet. Damage is a target. Attack. Default attack. The power of default attack. Can I not do it right? Uh, I don't know. Oh, I do that. Yeah, select the target. See, that was a cool sound. Oh, wow, you built Con P very slowly. I was going to say, I'm going to poise after. Poise. Cock the cracks. Oh, oh he just healed, healed for us. Way more damage than you can do. I think I'm gonna have to do that that spell blustery day or whatever. Yeah. Haha! Blustery day. I didn't do anything. Yeah, still did two damage. Uh. Oh, there's a little tool too. Will heal? Yep. Cool tip. Build stacks. Use the wind skill. Yeah, yes. I just I just noticed it. So, oh yeah, I'm trying to get the stacks. Here we go, damage. Ugh, I'm like I have to fucking poison him. Yeah, ideally you want him to also attack you so that you get a lot more poi or a lot more uh con B. Con Competent? B. Is it competence? Confidence points, I think? Maybe. Confidence points. Sorry, I'm sitting too far away from my mic, I think. <laughs> Talk the cracks. Um, He's running out of this blue. His con P's running out, though. Oh, is that what's happening? I think oh, because you're, like, you're stealing it. Yeah, you're stealing his mana from him. It said that's what Wind does, so. Or... Yeah, there we go. Bodied. Faraday Surge unlocked. Attack with an advantage element to juggle and deal big damage. Okay, so now you have uh, different skills. We saw all this already, I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. We saw all this. Huh. Technical score. Uh, I mean, I do know that he loves to beat things into people. Like, this is the thing. Read it. Oh, there's a little... There's two guys, yeah. isn't there? Oh, there we go. Wait, that did a lot of damage, didn't it? I didn't see the number. Butane lighter. Oh, we're, we're just juggling. We're juggling. It's going to say the juggle stuff again? Juggle. Always juggle at all times. Hey, I remember this. I yeah. just saw it. You can't, like, hold space bar or something? It makes it go faster? Oh, I can. I just was... <laughs> Break him, finish the fight. If I if I just start getting in the habit of skipping, I'm gonna skip everything. <laughs> so I'm trying not to like just mash start mashing because I know I will. Well, you gotta do poise, unfortunately. I kinda wanna heal, but I kinda wanna go for it. I say go for it. 
If you can die during the yeah. tutorial fight, that's dumb. I only did four damage. I didn't do anything. But the other one did like way more damage. Wait, not juggle correct? Uh, maybe. So you don't have a healing item, right? You have to use your. I healed. Healed. Heal spell. Like the con key poise. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I don't know. So I have to go in the order, right? I guess so. Stacks. Big stacks. Yeah, I don't know if I should kill the. the other oh, one. maybe that's what it was. Maybe because he had more than one stack before? I think so. That's why it's such a big damage boost. I'm just gonna say, if no one watches this and goes, or when no one watches and he says, dude, I fucking. It said in the game what to do. It's not my fault. I'm gonna say, no, it is your fault, says developer. <laughs> <laughs> it's on you. Now, if, if this is how you intend, then that's different. But if I'm doing something wrong and nothing's correcting me, I think it's, that's Dev's fault. Eight damage. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like you should be able to kill this guy if it does another big combo like that. The problem is, I feel like fire is weak, so maybe. Can you juggle, like... Okay, now you can go back to... Oh, but you have to poise it. Oh, no. Don't heal for 33, we don't want it. I saw the poise again, but... I think he's gonna die. Oh, you don't have the camera. I was trying to fire you. I think you can kill him. Uh, no, 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 use a different one. Use one of those two, yeah. This should be the juggle system. Juggle! Wind, fire, oh, lightning. No! No! Why? Okay, wait, what? It didn't kill him? I I mean, I don't know why you're going little. I, I believe in it. <laughs> I always go for the biggest damage to make sure they die. I honestly didn't realize my compi was at six. Above. I, I just assumed I said my compi was out. I, I, didn't even <laughs> I didn't even look. I like how the words of VR closed beta shakes also. <laughs> yeah, it's shaking the entire screen. That's just how, uh, I think that's just the shake screen, screen command. I think that's just how it works in that's, um, yeah. RPG Maker. Instead of, like, I don't know, moving a camera around, yeah. I guess would be the other way. Uh, feels good to be back. Ooga, ooga, ooga. Oh my god. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, <laughs> Mr. Scary Monster Guy. I ain't fiddle. Hey, were you stuck in that? Mean Mr. Crystal. Oh, jeez. This game has child abuse in it. Huh. Indeed, that was I. And if you don't mind, I have a score to settle with. The man with a crooked ideology. How rude. Mama said you should introduce your name first. Of How silly of me to forget. I'm just the wee shadow between those folds of your pretty little noggin. You never pay me any mind unless it's time to sleep. That's a mouthful. Just call me the maker. The RPG Doesn't maker? You know that? Yeah, RPG maker, MV. Ah, beatings. Bum bum. Why are you hitting me? To make you angry, I can't set a crooked ideology straight until you're spiteful. Get cocky, kid. Cocky? Cocky doesn't mean angry. Stop! I want anger. I don't want to be angry. I said, get pissed off. I said, stop. Oh, that was not me clicking. I just went. Oh, she's going Super, Super Saiyan. Saiyan. Wow. All right. I just want happiness, not angry. Uh, selfish motivation of being content. Do you want to keep reading? Do you want to start going? And how we despise the disruption to it. Uh, we still want to read everything. It's up to you. But I'll just be faster, understand. I guess. I think pursing your ego would be a good warm up. Whoosh. Ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Super Saiyan fight. <laughs> 
Whoa. This is a lot of words. Placeholder unlock. <laughs> oh, you have all these attacks that you uh, complicate when you're overly confident, don't they? Bing pong! I mean, my, my con peak. Yeah. Physical barrage. Oh, three damage. Oh, okay. Sick. Or something? Three damage. The, the double numbers thing is very confusing to me. Yeah. It's like con your it's confidence damage and also his health. Yeah. Wait, what grants you two actions per turn? Forever? I'm doing it because my compi doesn't top out anyway. Physical barrage. Da, 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 da. Oh, I thought it would hit more than once. Um, yeah, I think it just. What is it? Yeah, how long is it? Uh, I, guess, I think it just hits everyone. Right? Yeah. Oh, it's on me. Yes, it is. Nice. I'm only doing one damage. One damage, not good enough. Blustery day, fair day surge. Uh, is this a horse loose? I wonder. I don't know. Yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Oh, okay. That was a lot of damage. So the default attack super strong. Crap, I didn't mean okay, there we go. Damage. Big damage. <laughs> it's fucking UI because I'm I'm doing keyboard and mouse together. It's just, just being odd. stupid. Ah, Max Con P. Wait, I can't. No, I don't have enough Con P to do both. You have Max Con P though. I mean, I want to do them the same turn, but I can't do the six and oh. six. Oh. There we go. So seven will fire damage. That was really fast. I, I barely read it. Oh, I'm getting one. Yeah. Nice. I got laughed. The game's like, you lose, idiot. Yep. Oh yeah, double. Oh, double poise actually gets more stuff. Okay. Oh, it doubles the thing you're doing. I see. I thought it was. Uh... Oh, I have to go to Max Con P to even he because I'm. Uh, I have only eleven. Oh, how funny. Oh, so it like, I see. So it like uses the skill and then uses poise because it can't afford to do it twice? No, I'm not, I think I did everything intentionally, right? It, it did what I asked it to do. I'm not sure what you mean. Oh. Oh, I guess I'm not like paying attention to where you're clicking. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I'm, I'm you, using a bit of. So button. you choose all of your actions, all at once, and then it does everything. Yeah, so you, I'm because I have a double turn thingy. I choose both actions before. Oh. And then also, it depends on if the move has a like a post. After you pick it, you have to pick a target or not. Yeah, because so it's, it's a yeah. it's default RPG maker where like, or maybe not default, but it's default method where it's like your turn happens at the end instead of happening immediately instead of stern, standard turn based oh god but that's what I was kind of expecting is you push a button the thing happens and push another button and another thing happens you know oh yeah yeah, yeah it's like if I pick poise it just instantly goes if I pick heal it, it's two clicks and then if I pick something else it's three clicks so. and then I and then I have two actions so it's it can be any combination of two to six right hmm so now you oh, only have one turn because you remove that from yourself oops I 
I didn't. I, I wasn't sure if it said uh, positive and negative. I didn't know. I just yeah, it did. I figured it did. I just. Yeah. So, maker. I feel because Poise is so strong, I feel this fight is very easy to beat. It's just tedious as hell. Because I, yes. I will out heal with Con P, I will out heal their damage, but I have to slog through this stuff. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of fighting for like the first real fight. It could be an elemental thing, I'm supposed to stack elementals, but no, there's three guys, so now I want to use my AoE attack. But it does one damage. Yeah, my AoE attack seems really shitty. Gotta be honest, it seems like it's useless, perhaps. Yeah, I think one damage when you could be doing like six damage. With, like one of these spells. Or three damage even on your basic attack it means yeah. that it does the same amount of damage as your basic attack, basically. Yeah, I just split it. And it doesn't cut, and your basic attack gives you mana, whereas that one takes it away. on them. I don't know. That's the hit, right? Yeah, it's the hit. It's like a hit of their confidence for them. Oh. You're on fire! Physical barrage. Oh, I see. The physical barrage is doing that. You're like, this is AoE, therefore it's the best. This is the yeah. problem I had on Only Cell Sword, where it was like, Everyone loved the mage. There's like he AOEs, therefore he's the best. And he's just always AOE and <laughs> never <laughs> used any of his other skills. Lol. I was like, hmm. Fire damage. Oh my god, you have a bunch of stacks of fire. I think so, yes. Yeah. So you have to like cure that or something. But I don't want to lose my double stack. Oh, oh he so just keeps making these moves. Yeah, so I just attack him. Yeah. I just do this the rotation on him. Taking too much damage from Stout, I think. I don't know. Oh, okay. Now I can get rid of it. Oops, I double poison. Oops. <laughs> Always poise again. One well, unfortunate thing is I can't do like poise into the heal, even though after the heal I would have enough mana, you know. Oh, because it has it doesn't it can't understand that I'm gonna have it, so it just uh, yeah. oh, so it, it'll okay. heal then poise. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I should focus on the RPS system, whatever the the stack system, whatever it was called, but. Yeah. This is mad boring. <laughs> yeah. It seems like it'll take a lot of turns yeah. to do that. I think you have to. I think that's what's happening yeah. here. And with the double stack, though, I can't do, you know, two and one thing. I guess I could not do double stack, but I kind of want to. Yeah, double, double attacks. Woo! Because, yeah, you can do this wombo combo immediately. Pretty cool. Uh, uh. Uh. Oh god. Fire. Oh, oh am I fire? Awesome. What? I was gonna say I, I didn't realize if I did two actions. I thought I, I lost my buff for reasons for some reason, but I didn't. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, uh, am I dead? Maybe. Yeah, because I couldn't have enough mana to many. Oh, I'm, I think I am. We'll see. Oh, oh my god. One hit point. Oh, I see. I think there's like a missing selection sound? Something. Oh, is there? Maybe I'm just used to standard turn base, so I'm like, whenever you're like casting something on yourself, I like I saw you click on yourself, but I was like, 
Did you do it? <laughs> <laughs> so now I have to just sit here and con heal myself to full so I can get ahead of this. How tedious. Yeah, now you're behind the eight ball here. This yeah. Is, uh... I can get back on the eight ball, but I have to refill my health. And he's he's they're hitting me right under ten con so I have to do two turns con game. Like this. There we go. So now I go back to eleven. And then slowly but surely. Yeah, I can't believe they set you to just under enough before you, so you can't do two of the other spells. You have to do <laughs> one of yeah. those and then fire. I could get rid of double stack and maybe it'd be better, but I, I don't know. I'd have to stock up on key anyway. I mean, what you could also do is just hit him with a bunch of fires constantly. So he'll be ticking from fire damage. I could. Uh, and then once that's high enough, then you do the wombo combo. I guess stack the same element over and over, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's right, because fire's cheaper. Yeah. I could do a lot of damage. Yeah, they're doing a lot of damage to you. I'll build back to fire naturally. And then when I'm in the fire, <laughs> I'll stack fire. Oh, yeah. Ow. Am I dead? I don't know. See, I'm, one, like... I'm one under healing. Like, God damn it. Not, and I can't risk not poisoning, so I have to, like. Okay, well, whatever. Wait, did my fair. My fair didn't, didn't hit. He still. Uh, didn't. Oh, is that what you did? I thought you. Oh, I picked the wrong person. I use I'm using mouse control and it, it's hard to I guess I didn't send it. Really. Ow! I'm not gonna get ten mana. Yeah. I double poise. Double poise. Hey, he did a regular attack. Thank God. Oh, they're just giving him con P. I see. That's what they're doing. But like, you don't really have an effective way to kill them. It feels like. Not just that 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 again, yeah. so I'm just gonna keep the damage with him. And a stack. Oh, and they do out of stack too sometimes. That's rough. So there's still no like counter for how many stacks you have? I'm not really sure how to tell how many stacks they have. I don't really like, get the system either to be honest. Boy, howdy, is this a slog. Yeah, I would, I would have quit by now. Yeah. I, I really don't think this is... I mean, I thought this was, like, the actual beginning of the game. And I get that there's this whole, like, design idea of, like, wow, show the player all the cool tools that they'll get along the way. But I feel like... Uh, isn't really accomplishing that. It's just, like, this is way too early for this. Because it gives you a slog of a fight, right? Like, if you want to give people all the tools right away it'd be like the beginning of symphony of night where alucard is just like one-shotting everything like that's the point of doing that yeah um getting them all the tools to get into a slog isn't like super encouraging to me so i'm stacking fire dot yeah i guess Might as well. fire dot yeah should see multiple ones appear on him i guess yeah, I can't tell me stacks he has. I have no idea. Yeah. The other thing is, I think that anything anything you're gonna stack on him, uh, I think has a chance of being applied. I don't know if it's a hundred percent. So, I don't know. I don't like that. <laughs> yeah. I may start the rotation, the juggle system, whatever it's called, just to try it out. I can, oh oh no, yeah, I can't see the. I can't see the numbers on him because he's too tall, I guess. Oh, is that what it is? I think that's what's going on. I don't... Oh, wait. Am I looking in the wrong place for numbers? I think maybe I am. Yeah, I am. All right. I was trying to look to see what the dot damage was. I'm confused because I feel like the other skills seem to be doing dot damage as well. Or am I... Uh, I don't... I'm... 
Wait, wait, sorry, say again? Are the other skills, are the other stacks doing dot damage as well, not just fire? Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna read the skill really quick. So much damage. Some... I'll read it next time. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Damage, 30 chance to apply win. 30%? That's it? Oh, yeah. Stacks leech and restore con P per step. E shot increases the chance of immobile. Okay, well, I don't know if that's actually on that at all. Stacks leech per step. Okay. I'm just going to stack win, stack so he has a. so I get con P back. Yeah. That's not bad. I'll make the fight a little less sluggish. More con P. I'm one short of healing. Sick. Can I go to nine again? A seven. Yeah, what's also funny about the wind icon that you put on him is it looks like a two. Yeah, that's what I thought initially, but it's not. Yeah. It's a bait. I'm like, oh, you got two stacks. All right. damage. Whoa. Actually, I should test if I double pick the same skill and knowing my combo will run out in the first cast and see how it works. Uh, that's a good question. I think that might work. Oh, that's a or... Oh, it doesn't work. It just it doesn't. You just lose your turn. Oh no! Look at all the mana you're getting back, though. That's pretty cool. This is true. Still have the poise, but I guess you can at least. Oh, you also do more damage. So this was kind of something I was wondering uh, when I played this um, long ago. Was the math of this, like where you do the juggle and go back and forth, I don't know if the juggle burst damage is worth it, or if it's better to just keep building stacks. Yeah, it feels like stacks are better. I mean, I'm healing also per turn because of the wind stuff. Like the juggle yeah. is this point. I remember wind trying wind. to outline the amount of damage I was doing over how many turns, and. Uh, it kind of seemed like, at least the prediction I was making, I might have, I mean, the problem was I wasn't taking notes of how the scammer things are actually doing. Sure. Just kind of guessing based on what I thought I remember seeing. Oh, is it over? That was boring as hell. Oh, that took a long time. Uh, Once I, I went to switch to just spamming win, though, it actually made the fight a lot better. Because <laughs> I was yeah. getting a lot of healing and, and con P. Yeah. Did it say it heals you? It definitely seemed like it was healing you. Was it said cool. it looked like it said you're getting con P back, but it seemed like it was helping my health too. Yeah. All right, let's go so fast. Yeah, yeah. This is business, and here's the line in the expenses. Oh, pixels anyway. Low res pixels. Oh, it's some guy saving me. Celestial man. Celestial man. Oh, it's the AM doll. I see. This is like his uh his avatar. avatar. Okay. Oh, okay. You can tell by his, uh, his body structure that art is very amateur. And so the fool appears before the vacant stage. This skirmish is ineffective, Shadow. Your failure will always be locked into our eternal war as usual. You may steer this elephant, but I am the elephant. What empty street do you dance on this day, Popper? Read faster. <laughs> Save your pithy marks, Shadow. I have prepared an assessment that's why we and girl exist. I see, you want to play a game. No longer wishing to preach or in tune or word. You got my attention, Popper. Consider this an assessment to define where our confidence lies. Our perpetual question is, is it between the wrinkles of the ticker, the hands we shake along the way, or perhaps a place in between? Indeed, we have part to be... Uh, what? What is happening? Whatever. <laughs> And like siblings, we can move to, on to the next ceaseless argument. Always moving forward, Shadow. Just like the Dragonfly Popper, play your part. 
I'm not aware. I'm just tired. You were reading faster. It's not your fault. I'm just. I just want to move on with the talking. He used the RPG Maker commands. Confidence. <laughs> Perhaps a paradox. Why didn't he just delete the event? <laughs> Wait, what exactly happened? I was just. I was looking down at like the text. What happened? He like opened the menu and clicked on like transfer. Oh, I did. Okay, I did see. I didn't realize what that was. Okay, yeah, I, I thought I, I right clicked or something on accident. Like, <laughs> we'll meet again, Fidel. Something, something. That's a base asset. RTP asset. Yeah, yeah, you remember the Mahoney cell sword? I do. Disgusting. Placeholder. The platform disappears and Fidel falls into the void below. Oh, right. I guess there's uh, transitions placeholders. Sure. Now loading. loading. My mouse is flickering. Computer loading. Oh, oh, it just it hides the mouse every time I stop moving. Ah. Uh. Wiggity wiggity walk. So Nolan, if you want to hide that now loading message, you can just find that because it's just an image in your system file. You just delete it all so it's transparent. And then nothing shows up when people load. Because I don't think... I, don't, I doubt anything in your game is going to take more than like one second to load. RTB. It best be time to wake up, Blast. You're sleeping the daylight away. Whoa, she's tall. Tall AF. Because custom art, baby. Yeah, my head really hurts. You're a best. You're, I took care of you. I'm an old lady. As for the pain, Trav said he found you conked out after an awful tumble. After I took a look-see, you seemed to be healthy. And judging by the way you pounced out of your bed, I'd wager you're fit as a fiddle! Fit as a Fidel Castro. Yeah, I fit in many places. You're the biggest person <laughs> in the game right now. Well, you best be hightailing it out of here. I mean, she's an old lady. Yeah, the other thing I noticed is that uh, they're offset. They're where they're standing. Yep, yep. She's she's too high up on her on her whatever grid. Yeah. Yeah, I assume that's because of the walk cycle or something. Like her legs are gonna stretch out or something, so that's why she's like centered. Oh, uh, yeah. It'll be good if it's consistent. But I mean, yeah, I the, do like her art. But... Yeah, the old ladies RTP, which are always yeah. perfectly centered because they're the same size as a tile, so and they never <laughs> stretch. Out oh yeah, they're square. Makes sense. Uh, See, so yeah, that's why it's happening. But I don't know. I don't think uh, you'd only know that if you're an RPG maker dev. I don't know. Uh, yeah. <laughs> sad to say, ever since the maker, that maker feller set up a shop 24 months ago, this town's grown a whole lot lonelier. 24 months. How long did I sleep? Found an hour for the crow's call last night. How long have you been sleeping before that is up in the air? And judging by the crater you left, that must have been pretty high up in the air. Never mind all that, though. Afraid the commune just ain't a place for a youngster like yourself. Mayhaps you should be treading towards the city slickers. Paradiso, West City. Commune ain't nothing more. No! Sometimes it's cloudy. And sometimes it's sunny. When it's rainy, I smile. When it's sunny, I smile. Have some consonants and don't give up. Yeah, when I don't want to do boring things or homework, Mama shouts, don't fiddle and do your homework. So I don't give I'm up. I'm going to start me. going, man. I'm, just, I'm, I'm tired of this. Yeah, I don't know what the hell. Like, what? Yeah, too you much get up reading. and do things. It's too much reading. Get up and do things. Find the plot. Yeah, play game, you know? <laughs> I'll do a quick skim. You can do like a quick skim right or that or that. Yeah, I'm not. I don't want to read. Anymore. I just want to get this. It took get too the long. Game first fight now, and we're like, ah, go. I mean, I'd feel to be fair. I feel this way regardless. There's a lot of dialogue, dude, and it's a lot of the whole like trying to build the story of, oh, but what? My my was gone, and how long? Well, this this, and then this happened, and that happened, and because of that, this is happened. It's like, oh god. Yeah, I mean, I guess the way I would say is that nothing's really, nothing's really happening in this dialogue. Oh, why is yeah, that? Yeah, that, that, exactly. But what we've talked about in other games, it's like it's it's just it's not progressing anything. It's building the world, sure, but it's building the care. But it's like ugh. it's not really. It's really just establishing their speaking patterns. I feel like I don't really feel like it's doing much other than explaining like, oh, you're unconscious for a long time. Like, okay, yeah. 
And then there was like five dialogue boxes to say you were conscious for a while. Yeah. Yeah, she's still talking about the thing with her mom. Okay, yeah, okay, cool. For a fee. It's good to meet you. Stop by about it at any time. Thanks, m'lady. Meta-lady? Medality. I could have had her... I probably wanted her to know. Oh, here we go. Oh, here is. But the save system has not been implemented. Please manually save the game. There are two methods by pressing tilde and typing game.save or using the saving notebook in your inventory. Please note that it's not advised to save in some areas, boss rooms, and the void. The white space are not safe places to save and could result in soft blocking the game. It's always safe to save in the crossroad commune. So she, you know, she was going to so direct to me. Save. You, you gotta yeah, save, because we're not doing that intro ever again, buddy. Sure. Alright, what, what did it say? It said press, uh, escape? Uh, it's an item. you have an item in your inventory? And you just use it? Oh, yeah, you have to I can't enter click. it first, and then, yeah. Oh, okay. This the mouse doesn't work here, so I was trying to click on my mouse. Uh, it does. You just have to click on the actual text of the thing first, and then... No, let's find out. See, not working. No, click on oh, item, item above. Oh my god. Yeah, see, you're trying you're trying to do things in some, some sort of logical way. Good. RPG Maker says no. <laughs> you can't just click on the thing you want to do. Christ. Jesus. Okay, so I, she could have given me a tour of the thing, but I figured that'd be more dialogue skipping, so I just skipped it. Yeah, I do not want to take a tour of the city. How do we, like, fight guys and do stuff? What did he say to do? Uh, Father Truett. I don't remember. Hey, it's nice to meet you, Father Turret. Is this your house? <laughs> Where do you sleep? <laughs> you sleep on those ugly benches? Yeah, this is just like, oh my god, I get it. We know what a church is. I know it's explained to her as a character, but I don't want to read all this. Yeah, he's being he's silly and stuff. I think, uh, I guess I'm feeling a little exasperated, I think, from that intro. No, but look how, look how much dialogue there is. Look <laughs> at this. This is not me being, I mean, I totally understand everyone has different opinions of it. This is not nothing against Nolan's game. I don't like to read games in general. I play games to play them, which is I know is, is everyone has different opinion. I'm not saying everyone has to not enjoy dialogue, but this is this is so much dialogue. Like I'm sitting here mashing spacebar and then 18 screen popped up. Look at this. Look at this. If we read this out, we'd be here for 40 minutes. Look at this, dude. Am I you know what I'm doing? I'm probably repeating something. Am I repeating something? Uh I don't know. Think I think so? I think I am actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, maybe not. Dude, imagine if you read this out. Imagine yeah. you read this out. Unfortunately, yeah, like, we don't even... have time for. As much as I want to give Nolan, you know, five hours, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, you know what it is? I actually am restarting him. I kept restarting him. I am restarting him. Wait, am I? Oh, oh now you are. Or... See? Oh, now it's a different thing, yeah. Now it's restarting. I didn't even read it because I didn't want to, so I'm not going to. Yeah, it's only a couple it. lines when it's... you restart at that time. Yep. Imagine we read that out. We would have we would have spent there 40 minutes. Now, of course, if, if you're playing it and not reading it out loud, you would have read it. But this is like, and and that? I again, it's personally I don't I don't read much in games, and I know that's not I'm not saying that everyone has to play, has to enjoy not reading in games. But but at the same time, this is a lot of dialogue for anyone. Well, what's funny is I feel like no one's the same way, so I am surprised to see this much dialogue. The uh, the beta I played long ago really didn't have much dialogue at all. At least I don't remember it having that much. I mean, I guess part of that is you just start inside a dungeon and then you do the dungeon. So... Look at that! That was, was like 24 I screens I for a random dude. Yeah, okay, yeah, good. <laughs> I don't blame you. That was but like that was just, he was just a random guy in the town. He doesn't have anything... I mean, I guess there's supposed to be some sort of mechanic where, like, you get to know the villagers and give them gifts and stuff. Uh, I don't think there's actually gift giving in this version of the game, oh, okay. but... So yeah, I, I totally... Just... Oop, sorry. Oh, I was gonna say, I guess you're supposed to do that, but yeah. It's funny, I'm thinking about my next zone, how it's gonna be a big city, and, like... I definitely hate talking to random NPCs, so I'm like... Oh, this is... Isn't this guy supposed to be a vendor? Look at this, dude. What is this insanity? Imagine reading this. If we read everything, we would have three dialogues and our two hours would have been up. Yeah, that's true. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, because yeah, that is the thing. Is There is there's, uh, a lot of gameplay. He puts like puzzles in his dungeons and stuff, so I do want to see that stuff. Oh, okay. Oh, what? Finally What's happening? a thing. 
for every four piece of manuscript Milo, the liber librarian will award Fidel, Fidel, Fidel Castro with a book that gives <laughs> permanent increases to Fidel's growth. Oh, right. There's like no leveling. You get like stuff and then that grows your stats this way. Okay. I don't, yeah. So again, there, I want to emphasize here. This is not to say I don't think any game should ever have a lot of dialogue. If people, if people want it, for people who enjoy this, hey, have fun. But I think this is egregious, even for a person who likes to read a lot of games. Look at this, dude. This is, that must have been over 100 screens, 100 dialogues. So I think it's egregious, even from a POV of someone who does like to read all the dialogue. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. That's fine. It's just maybe not my cup of tea to deal with this much dialogue, and that's fine, that's my opinion. I'm not gonna say Nolan shouldn't do it, but I think this is an egregious amount for even people who do enjoy this stuff, so. But, you know, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Not to get this, is literally, this is just kind of insane to me, how much there is. Are you holding spacebar, by the way? I'm tapping it. Can I hold it, hold it. I think, I generally find holding faster. Okay, there it's we like go. input buffering, you know? And not damaging my, piece, my keyboard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unless he implemented, well, I'd be, I'd be shocked to be shocked if he had that. If you could press page up or page down or something. Oh yeah. But if that works, that could be a problem. If you want to break the game, that would be the fastest way to do it. Because if he didn't know that that was a plugin he had, <laughs> that breaks yeah. scripts real good. Because. It allows you to go faster than, you know, you should be able to. So I kind of get in that if this is the point of the game to kind of meet people, talk to them and stuff, that's fine. Then the game yeah. would be trying to build the relationships and talk with them and actually reading what they say. But I don't think that's this game. That's part of this game. But aren't I supposed to go out and kill stuff and do it RPG things? Not, not do like a dating sim? I don't know. Yeah, is there a... Uh... Is there a quest log or anything? I don't actually know what you're supposed to be doing. I have no idea. I'm supposed to hit game end. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't, I'm not really. I will, uh... Another chicken. Huh. Oh, it was off oh. screen. That's pretty funny. Whoa, what are these camera moves? Yes, I, I want to admit, I want to say, I, I, don't, I'm, I know I sound impatient right now. It's not because I don't want to, like... It's more so I, I want to play the game I normally play games, and we have to slow it down a bit for the show. But I got to the point where I said I don't want to slow it down for the show anymore, and that's why I sound like I'm impatient right now. Because yeah, well I, I mean I'm definitely games. like approving of you skipping it now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, this is a lot of holy shit. We'd never get anywhere if we talk to these people. I am not exaggerating. If we read all three of those people out, that would have been over two hours. Like, I'm not exaggerating. That was so much dialogue. It got to the point where I thought I was looping dialogue because I was mashing spacebar, and apparently I wasn't. It's just, you know, I guess a hundred oh. lines of dialogue is... There you go. What happened? That was one one thing. Oh, one she won't thing. talk to you anymore? I guess so. Did I break her? Look, she turns. Yeah, what the... F why, why is that dialogue only available once? Interesting. Might be a boog. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah, again, if the game was, if it was a game about, you know, getting to know the nuances of people and building relationships, and that was the whole game, like Harvest Moon or something, I don't know, I'm sure, Harvest Moon, like, I never played Harvest Moon, but, you know, and you actually, progression of the game was reading how they talked and seeing what they like and getting gifts, if that was, that's fine. But I don't think that's this game. I think that was just a huge waste of time and way too much I mean, intent to world build. It is part of it. There's definitely he did mention something about giving gifts and it like levels up the town and stuff. But uh But that's too much. That's too much to talk for only a part of the game. Yeah, I still feel like that's a lot. Like uh I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm maybe maybe about, him seeing it. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, maybe. I I'm thinking about my own like NPCs they have to talk to and I'm like, if you talk to an NPC who doesn't like have a quest or anything, I'm just gonna have like one dialogue box and then your character doesn't even respond to them yep that's that's my plan just like like i mean i guess i get away with it because you know being a post-apocalypse everyone's rude they'll just be like get the fuck out of my face and that'll be like the end of the dialogue <laughs> <laughs> get out of my face asshole hey chicken or they'll be like what have you done for me lately you know oh there's a tall sprite bug you want to see it 
Uh, sure, what happened? Move. I this. You caught a fish. Press F to throw a fish. Yeah, I see. You have to press buttons. Uh. A thing to do. Wrong, Wrong R.I.D. RID. Oh. I remember that being in the other beta. I can't believe that's happening here what, again. What happened? Wait, fading out. Blacking oh. out? Oh. Violin. Library Shushi Man. My name's Fiddle, not Violin. Felsi, but not Fiddle. Well, if you're okay, I guess I'm reading again. Sorry. You're good. You're uh, good. I'm holding space. I'm going. You what? Wow. They're still talking. Six hundred fifty degrees is actually not that hot at all. If we're talking about molten lava, I read that part. Doesn't it get to like thousands of degrees? Just catch the fish. Just chuck it in the lava, yeah. Throw okay, the thing, it makes jump across quickly. That's kind of cool. Yeah. You know, it just took 30 lines before to get to that part. See it, dude. Easy, completely safe, he says. Oh, but uh, the tall sprite, watch, st no, stop. Walk over that shadow and then walk to the southernmost. Like, walk down one more. <laughs> oh, walk to the left. Yeah, there you go. See that? Whoop. Lol. Whoop. Lol. Yeah. That's happening because RPG Maker doesn't know how to deal with tall sprites, basically. Shadow? It's just the thing. Yeah. It just is it where I put it. All right, let's check this fish. Yeah. yeah. I guess the sound guy, it makes that little, like, string. I guess it's a fiddle, a little fiddle sound. Yeah. All right, see, this I can get behind. Is this a puzzle platform? Or this I can get behind. Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like, oh, yeah. This is the first, uh, this this is, I think this is the same, or at least the start of the dungeon that I played last time. So why did I have 400 boxes of dialogue before I could do this? Oh, you threw it oh, on the ground. I didn't press oh, it. Oh, I see. I think it's because I'm switching screens. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, oh I thought you were going to get it. I thought you were going to get an ad. <laughs> Buy this game when it comes out. It reminds me of like YouTube videos where it's just like yeah. suddenly just like whoop. Mountain trembles. Space. Oh yeah, I was about to start reading again. <laughs> Space bar save me. Maybe when he sees this he'll go. Maybe maybe his intention wasn't to make this much, he just kinda of wrote it all separately and then put it together and he didn't realize how much it is. Like look at okay. Anyway, I'm holding. I'm gonna hold space bar. I'm not. No. No. No remorse. No regret. No regret. We gotta get. We gotta get. Get done. Also, keep in mind. Uh, normally, you play. So <laughs> this maybe even if if we, we you got impatient while you were playing, it may not have come as this hard this fast. You know what I mean? I mean it's a it little bit more because of me. It wouldn't have come this fast, but at some point you would have said to keep to start skipping, and I'd be like, you're right. And then weird. I would have been at this stage where I'm like holding it and being like, wow, this really is a lot. It's still going, dude. This is like a parody of long dialogue in RPG Maker games, but it's actually the game. Yeah, I'm pretty, I'm quite shocked to see this much dialogue, to be honest. I really didn't expect this. That's why, that's the other reason why I was like reading everything, because I thought it would be, because no one complains about games having too much text so i'm like what is this no what the hell dude <laughs> what is this garbage you got he's got to watch this and see how long like he's gotta if if he didn't realize it and he made a mistake that's fine if he thinks this is okay i do not agree with it this is insanity <laughs> this is way too much dialogue healing yeah mac is that mac it's just oh okay it's good Holy God, the music, it's jamming. Yeah, so the music's going to be the main attraction, I believe. Oh, because yeah, he's a music guy. Oh, it got quiet. It got way quieter. <laughs> is that a bug? Or is it because I'm in I don't order? know. Also, that, yeah, that now loading, he should really fix that. It looks so, it looks so tacky. Yeah, uh, I'm sure, you know, RPG Maker devs think like, oh, well, I got I gotta have something that says when it's loading. What if they're loading for like 30 seconds? I'm like, that's never going to happen, though. Like, yeah, it's RPG. I know he does parallax mapping here and there sometimes, but he never, I don't even think he does full parallax mapping like I do. And I, 
I didn't do that shit. I deleted that loading thing. I don't think anyone's going to see. They're not going to be frozen for 10 seconds and be like, wow, what's happening? Like, oh my God, hello? Even, even though I have these gigantic uh, maps that are all parallax map, I don't, I'm pretty sure the longest it takes is like two seconds. I think there's a, yeah. I don't know where I heard this, but I think Xbox has like a certification, like check that like, if the game freezes more than four seconds, it's a fail without having, I mean, if it freezes for more than four seconds without having some sort of indication that's loading, then that's a fail. Uh, but, uh, yeah, that's never gonna happen. You're never gonna hit four second loading. Um, yeah, jumping for no reason. Yeah, is that really uh, engaging? Oh, look at that little double fade. Yeah, the yeah, music gets wrong. lower randomly. There's a bug. Yeah, I'm not sure why it's happening. The Pac-Man placeholder. I hope that's a placeholder. <laughs> oh, the enemies? The Pac-Man ghost, yeah. Yeah, it's just a... Oh, he's a... The music randomly gets louder. I'll have to time it. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure you can mash. I, I tried it, but I only gave one shot. I figured, yeah, if I had mashed, kept mashing, it would have worked. But... Where am I? Okay. I'm gonna see if I get stuck here. Oh my god, three dudes. So many. Yeah, my mind so, won't be here yet, I have no idea. Let's find uh, out. I don't know. If I get bodied, we'll, we'll find out. I say if, if you get bodied, I would say go to a different dungeon just because I've seen this one. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. But maybe this is a later dungeon? I'm not sure. I guess it's open world in that sense, so. So you don't have all those other skills now, right? Yeah. Yeah, what happened? They're gone. Uh, yeah. I didn't expect you to keep them. Dude, this is such a slog. I have to kill three of these enemies, and I have to give you all three of their turns. And look how much damage I dealt with two attacking this guy. This is... What is this? This is going to be... 12 attacks. And, and I have to wait their whole turn economy, too. So, 12 times... Plus three turns between each of those. <laughs> I guess it lowers because one will die eventually, but my god. My god. Yeah. Definitely felt like the. And I remember playing it, it felt like it kind of took kind of a while. I do like these like highlight things that he does. That was pretty, nice. pretty cool. Um, I do think that poise is pretty good. Yeah. Especially once you have three people, so they'll all attack you and I'll give you more con pee. Aha! He's close to dead. I guess he'll burn to death, maybe. That's what I'm hoping. Uh, I think he has one hit point. I'm not sure, though. I'm gonna let him burn, yeah, so I can at least get some of the dot on someone else. Yeah. Four. Ow. Ugh, double I'm attack. die, yeah. Wait, did he heal? No, he's dead. Cool. Yeah, and the heal puts, like, a defense up on you. Oh, that was so fast, I didn't see what this down arrow is. You can't mouse over these icons, right? Let me check. On, like, on top of your head? No, okay. I just remember him being like, seeing my video where I put out, where I talked about getting that plugin for my game. He's like, wow, that's pretty handy. I'm like, yeah, it is, because that was something I immediately kind of felt when I made Pony Cell Serve, was that I can't do complicated debuffs because there's no way to explain it to the player. Yeah. They, they all have to either be like dots or like really obvious. And it's like, it's so limiting. Bro, this single random encounter is like 27 turns, because every mob takes four hits. Yeah. This is such a tedious game, Nolan. If this so, is what you I mean, want, I don't agree with you, but you're the dev, but I don't agree with this. This game is incredibly slow-paced and boring. 
due to the amount of dialogue and how much, how little damage you do. Like, look how each mob takes four hit. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm just so fucked. <laughs> just so, like, mentally, like, over this. I do want to go a little bit further just because I want to give this skin the normal we give it, but. Yeah. Like, look at how little damage this does. This random encounter took, like, ten minutes. Because I have to poise back my mana, and then I do one attack, and then maybe it dots them, and then they get three action economy to start. <laughs> it's just, like, so boring. <laughs> Well, I, I guess my thing that I would say about that is because I, it's, I feel like the biggest problem is, I mean, obviously you're going to run into this later on and I don't think there's enough system design to make you like kill these guys super fast by the time you run into them. Um, but I would say like there needs to be some kind of like safeguards. I mean, obviously you want to have open world and stuff, but like, oh, you're trapped now. I was gonna say that. Okay, I was actually that's actually why I jumped. I want to I want to see if I, it would trap me. Um, but yeah, I was gonna say is you need to have like baby encounters like sprinkled like just outside of town. I guess I'm just thinking of like New Vegas and how like how bold it is that you can just immediately like be like, oh, I gotta go to Vegas. Okay, and then just, if you go north, you just run into a bunch of death claws, right? Yeah, but like. You, death claws aren't like the first thing you run into if you do that stupid thing. Like, there's a bunch of like grasshoppers that like die in one hit. Yep. And, like regular like powder gangers and stuff that are also just regular weak humans with shitty armor. Like, yep. There's there's even though it's incredibly open world, like there's still like some level of like uh, guidance in terms of like the mobs that you encounter. And like yeah. I think even then, like um, when you approach the people that are like in that little mining town or whatever it is, like the guy runs up to you and like locks you in conversation and says, "Hey, there's death claws up there." <laughs> yeah. And Twelve, thirteen. I'm counting fourteen. I'm counting how. Or I'm counting how many turns it takes to finish this. You're already at fourteen turns. This is or fourteen, 14 actions, actions, like actions. Yeah, okay. act counting their turns too. Yeah. Yeah. 15, 16, was that 17? It's plus 3, I just did my turn to do it. 18. What? No chance. Fido will have trouble. I didn't do that fast enough. 20. It goes so fast. 21. I mean, I believe he sped up the uh, battle animation, uh, which Four. means that text goes faster. Yep, 20, this is me 25. Oops, I didn't mean to, I meant to heal. Let's see, 26. 26. Yeah, poise is so good. I really, I think that's, so I guess I'll spoil this because you've been playing, or at least for a little bit. I think that was my feeling when I played it, was that attack is useless and you just use poise. Yeah, to get mana to do the 20. 30 I, I've lost. I'm over, over 30 turns right now. Oops. Whatever. I'm, <laughs> I meant to heal, but whatever. I'm poisoned anyway. I'm not max poison. I'm 35, something like that. Hey, keep in mind, this is like a random encounter. That's my point. If this is a boss fight, so I'm like, okay, but it's not. No, it's a random encounter. I, it's, well, I guess, yeah. It's like, just some random enemies. You gotta fight. And yeah, you have to fight them to, to solve the puzzle. So, I think I'm almost at 40 turns. And there's still one and a half enemies left. So, what has their strategy? Has your strategy been so far? You've been doing the juggle, or you're not? You didn't even put a stack on them with that. Never mind. Yeah, I'm what trying to it? get the dot on them, but because it's a percent chance, it's not working. So I guess. Yeah. You know, I think wind is probably the best. You get confi and health at the same time. Which is just keep allows you to constantly attack, right? You don't have to yeah. poise for a turn. He healed. I... Oh. Oh my I... fucking god. I think that's what I remember when I played the demo. Was I just used wind? I'm gonna try to. Do that. He healed again. Oh, I got stacks. Ah, you got it. I'm out of con though, so hopefully I get some con from the thing. Yeah. Oh, I can't do anything because I have to. Cause I, I'm There's out of climb. Silence on you. So why is that there? Is there ever a time, Nolan, that the player is going to be able to run? <laughs> the flea option. 
forget if he talked about that, but... Yeah, I mean, I don't know. He's probably not using the same plugins as me, but I know I use the plugin to remove that menu because um, I don't want the player to run, so there's no use to having that menu pop up. I mean, I guess the ultimate thing would be, like, if the player can't run, then don't let them see that menu, but yeah. that would be a little more investigative to figure out how to code that, especially since you probably want an error sound to play as well. Hooray! I said, do you have trouble stacking or something? Yeah, like day stacking. I don't know if it goes too fast, but it's bad. So fast. It's RPG Maker, yeah. It's something stacking. I, I missed. I saw something stacking. Fidel is something stacking. I'll try to catch it this time. It's double wind damage. It's trouble stacking. Yes, it's trouble stacking. This we must be at over turn seventy right now. Any heal? Holy God! Oops, I don't see it but I'm so over it. Alright, there we go. Finally! Oh, cool. Finally, it took 80 turns. There. I'm st I gotta do one more fight. Oh my god. There's still a gap. You do? Maybe? I that seems like too much of a jump distance. Unless it, it moves. Oh, yes, oh yes, you have a fish, right? Turn. You can get the fish. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're right. You're right. Get that one spot. Yeah. What's with the volume? Yeah, why does it do that? At least he did put it in that way so you couldn't dead game. There. Yeah. I, this is the right way. I just I just chose the direction I started going, so I hope it's the right way. Is that save point? Where's this? Uh, I'm doing it. Oh, this is. Oh, is this as cool as I hope it will be, but it won't be because it's RPG Maker? Uh, I don't think it'll be cool as you think. Yeah, it'll be it's not. I thought it was going to be like a first. Uh, uh, he rendered a first person version of the <laughs> Done. No way. Not an RPG Maker. No, no way. way. That would be way too much effort, too. Why would you ever do that? Because cool, I mean, it'd have to serve a gameplay purpose, but, you know, like a puzzle or something for like a small section you could look at. Like I'm over it. Yeah. Uh, oh, what? did you break it somehow? Maybe. Oh, there we go. I'm good. He has to say his score again. Oh, I did. Oh. What? How? Uh, can you hold alt to move? No, that's, that's only an editor. That's not going to work in build. Uh, but how? I'm guessing when you do the the look, it like doesn't it moves your placement potentially, and maybe I was pushing something and got. I mean, it's still obviously a game breaking bug, but maybe yeah, because it's I was to, motion buttons. It's supposed to return you to. Yeah, I assume when he's when you're looking, you're just transparent and. Uh, I mean, yeah, you probably have to just restart at this point. I don't know what else to do. I'll do one. I'll go like one to go right instead of left, and then I'm done. Yeah. Because I'm restarting at town. I didn't save it all because it says it's not safe to save outside of town or whatever. Yeah. So. Which is a real dangerous thing. Yeah. So, yeah, I definitely don't want to see that dungeon again. I guess the dungeon's even bigger than I remember, I think. What, was that a shop? What do you mean? Oh, I have to redo all the talking. Oh no. Whatever, hold space for. I will try to go right out again. If, it's, if all that stuff I did was actually required, that's even worse than I anticipated. Uh, I guess I should check if there's a debug command to... Oh, thank you, let me go. All oh, right, forest. New Is zone. It... Oh. What? No. Damn it. No. 
Uh, I guess we have to find out where else you can go. I feel like there has to be another new area, right? Like, I don't remember what it is, though. So I guess south? We're going for it. That's all we got. What are, what are these? I can't interact with them. Oh, there we go. Wait, no? I had to pick that up with an item? Does maybe your money go up or something? Guess not. I think the musical notes are your money. I don't think. Yeah, I think I'm, either I got an item or nothing. Is there one up here? No. I, I don't know. Whatever. I saw one up there earlier. Alright. South we go. I'm getting that one. I'm getting it over there. Yeah, they definitely feel intentional. Like, what? what are they? What is this? What is this? I get an interaction thing above my head. Yeah, and there's a sound too. Hey, animation. Library man. I don't remember what he is, I don't care. Um, I think he said you need four of them anyway, so. Oh, okay. Let's not, let's not go back. Oh, is it a key item or something? Oh, you go. Okay. Yeah. Okie dokie. A little cave there that's covered up, too. All right. This place looks like combat zone. Whoa, you're growing up now. I'm not even pressing. Huh, too dangerous, I see. Uh. Okay. Something happened. Be safe. Oh. I guess so, yeah. Quick event, transfer. I think it's I think it's intentional. I think he's doing it as a joke. I mean it has to be. That that was like a, a video. <laughs> yeah, it's very, very <laughs> the movement was too quick. Oh, this is the port of okay. Oh. Oh, okay. is this the waypoint system? I just went for it, I don't care. It's just taking me back to town, right? Oh god, why? I don't want to go back to town. Oh, I'll take you here, okay. Crystals! Crystals are valuable. Oh. Wait, that's what now? Touch it, but I don't think I can do anything with it right now. Okay. I don't want to <laughs> like, fight no. for 80 turns. No! <laughs> Where's the puzzles? Tony wants puzzles. Yeah. I get the whole, also he's a music guy, but you know, this is kind of the whole, uh, everything in the world is based around music. It's like, okay. I oh. get it. Kind of see that rope at first, but I'm I, I didn't even so. Oh. Might be a little blurry for me. Ah, it's a mimic. Haha. -ha. You thought you were going to get a chest. Poise. Always poise. Okay. Wind attack. Jesus, what? this health. I'm already... My future self is already bored of this fight. <laughs> hey, he did it. He got the thing on him. Ow. Well, Earned and never given. He's gonna win this fight. He's too good. Ow. My god. Oops. Oh, oh wait, no. I lost the I lost the double thing. That's right, yeah. I meant to do it, but I can't. You cannot take double turns. Yes. Good. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, so what is going on with this thing? What thing? It's like... His health just feels like he has infinite health. Yeah, I can't run. Right? He's wasting a lot of turns. Oops. Got to. Builds up a ton of mana, and then he's like, uh, good. Uh, this butane lighter is so good. Okay. I guess he did the, uh, the juggling. That's why it did so much damage. Come on! This guy has a million hit points. He really does. And I can't run, so... I guess we fight. We'd actually sack the... Go through the cycle, whatever it's called. Yeah, I'll try it. I'll try the cycle. What? Well, I'm gonna die first. Damage. I mean, the heal heals you for so little. It's like, and it, yeah, it went off. Like it's gone. I, I can't even do this. The juggle. Oh, it, it fell, fell off. off. Oh my god! I didn't think that would happen. Oops. I mean, it definitely <laughs> feels like. You keep going the wrong way and doing the wrong things, is what I would say, it feels like. This is like my worst nightmare as, uh, <laughs> in designing an open world game. It's like, the player constantly goes into the wrong thing first. But I don't know. I don't know what is the level one thing we're supposed to be doing. It's probably the dungeon I was in. It just glitched from me. You think so? I mean, that, that dungeon was sloggy, but I don't know. It seems that uh, 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 one direction is soft walk, and then one direction is this. <laughs> I don't know what else there is. It's like soft lock right, hard lock in west, <laughs> and then now slog south. Yeah, soft lock, guaranteed soft lock, east. Unintentional, unexpected soft lock west. And then this direction is like, is this the higher level area? Like, this guy has so much hit points. Yep. It's one guy, and this is like, worse than those three guy fights. Yep. Oh, his poison takes my con fee. That's awesome. I'm dead. Yeah, I can't out heal his damage if he takes my con fee. And he's, oh, he healed. Cool. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, this is quite a mimic. Yep. Quite a mimic. So yeah, what well, we were just supposed to talk to all those people uh, for hours, and then I guess I assume, hopefully, one of them would be like, "Hey, here's the thing you should do first. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open up. He's back to full health. Oh wow. I'm gonna open up the." Uh, uh, instructions he sent to me so I can or there's that and then there's like uh, I just want to kill his, me his, his post thing you can restart the game with F4 as well I don't think F4? yeah oh I'm sorry F5 fell for that thing I said yeah I was like isn't that the thing that makes it not <laughs> not full screen Uh, okay, so this doesn't have any warning about the direction you go in. So I'm gonna go to the page where he talks about the game. Uh, oh, there's a spot here. Is there some, someone's house? Nope, it's a thing. Oh. It's a dungy. Nope, never mind. Oh, 
Bam. Thanks. Uh, so let's see. I want it to talk about additional info. I will say, though, he does have a lot of options for difficulty. So maybe look at that and see if there's one to tune the enemy health like all the way into oblivion. Is it here somewhere? Game rules? Yeah. There's oh. Yeah. Oh, can you only set that when you first start the game? Let's find out. Ah, here we go. What wow, about? Wow, this shouldn't even be a thing. This is so. This is his things. He feels that a uh, uh, player should be able to make the game that they want. I guess. Um, oh. I definitely don't agree with that. I kind. Of, I feel like, you know. The dev should design the game, <laughs> and that's the game that people should play. I don't I have don't a problem know. with. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I was gonna say I obviously don't have a problem with difficulty settings, but I feel like those are also kind of like tailor-made by the dev is the best idea. And is this intended to be as you play, you you change it? I guess so, because you won't even know what to change when you first start, right? Uh, I kind of feel like you're not allowed to change it after you start the game. Well, that's even stupider. So there's nothing to HP gate threshold. What does that mean? Oh, that's not what I think it is. I was trying to think about uh, trash value rate. Wait, free healing. What does free healing mean? Disables any place towards any of that current free healing. Enabled. Oh, okay. That's okay. That seems kind of weird to not to be able to turn that off. So there's nothing about um, health. Oh wait, can one. you go can you keep going down? Is it possible to scroll down? No? no? Okay. I upped our experience rate. Oh he does say the expected Wait, of the game or of the demo? It says eight to ten hours. Eight to ten hours meaning you talk to four people and fight six times. <laughs> LOL. Sorry, I had to. Damn. I'm being a little overly mean. No one actually like you. What little I know about it. I think, I, think it, I would assume it has more to do with, uh, you know, high expectations, I guess. Yeah, like, I mean, you mentioned he's a little critical. We know, we know this guy. We know he seems like a sensible person, so we expected something... A little better. Sensible. Uh, sensible is a good word. And, uh, yeah. I'm really fucking confused about, like... A mystery surrounds each route, an endless storm, tormenting the coast, and a forest, driving that fiddle, clean up the roads. In any order she chooses. Huh. Each route will challenge fiddle in different and unexpected ways. Sea filled exploration, a cave that puzzles, an arena filled with random chests and paths. In the woods that require strategy and foresight. Each route inspired by different game genres, from roguelite to 4X. Yeah, I mean. I guess. I agree. Cool stuff, but like, I guess you're supposed to be able to do it in any order. I guess that. I guess I answered my question. So. Yeah. Uh. I guess I'll just go with that. As much as I don't want to see this place again, um, that <sighs> fucking mimic was ridiculous. I'm down to just. Oh yeah, that's right. I'm down to go for the. Uh, go right. Just whatever saw fuck happens, it happens. Whatever. I'm, we're almost hitting two hours. Now. It feels like it's been four. Really, you're almost at two I hours of actual gameplay. What a recording start? Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Which is crazy. It's like that one game we played, Tales of Atruin, where we felt like we kept, we kept, we kept thinking more, like you know, sunk. Time sink fallacy, whatever that's called. Where it's like, or some cost fallacy. Or it's just like, yeah. when does the thing happen? Ah. I feel like the story should be that she's a giant. So that way he doesn't have to redo all these uh, NPC <laughs> sprites. Yeah, she's, a, she's an Amazon. Because, you know, she's supposed to be like a child. So, kind of funny as she towers over these adults. <laughs> this is true. Still going, still talking. 
Yeah, not being able to save whenever you need to is a uh, kind of a problem. I kind of feel like when it, what did it say it was not safe to save? Did it say in the dungeons was not safe? I think so. Yeah, anything but town. Why is that? I think it's programming. I don't think he actually wants it to be like that. I think it's just he has a program in some issue with the dungeon, I don't know. Yeah, well, I'm trying to figure it out because it's like... I assume he must be using some sort of... I don't know, metadata system or something? I don't know. I don't know why. I, I feel like... RPG Maker save system saves everything when you save. That's why uh, the autosave plugin I used, I originally set it to save every time you like loot something but I had to turn that off because it would hitch for like a few frames Oh, um, which is not noticeable when it auto saves infrequently like after fighting or loading into an area but when you do it every single time you click on a box and I have, a, I have you know shitloads of boxes then you start to notice it um, and I assume the reason why it does that is because the auto save is just literally saving all the data and it doesn't like intelligently like update okay what's changed what's actually changed Yeah. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know what happened to the save system. Why you can't just save whenever it seems weird to me. Get this uh... ish. Missed it. I guess to redo it. Whatever. If it crashes again, it's over. We're done. Is this the same place? Yes. I mean, the same room in the same place? Yeah, I tried going left and then it didn't allow me to, so I went right again. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was reading things, I guess, when you were doing that. So I was trying to figure this out. So there was a room I think I didn't go to that I wanted to check out, but I don't know. But I thought I did, but I, apparently this is, I think this is the room I went to, so. Oh, yeah, I went up there. I see what you, okay, I see what it is. I was this looks really familiar. I think it's oh um, chest. Yeah, Hopefully it's not a mimic. <laughs> yeah. So. Thank God. Ooh, espresso. So, so I, I mentioned. Whoa. Oh. Sweet. Okay. <laughs> I mentioned that the items being so limited, you just always use them. But man, they're really not giving them to you. So I don't know. I guess it's the second I've gotten all game. Oh, I can't. Oh, no. I can't take the fish with you. Oh, I see. Okay. So this way, I guess, is the way up there. Present. Oh, Wait, is that a gift you're supposed to give to people? Wait, well, yeah. how are you supposed to get across that if you can't take a fish with you? I'm not supposed to go. This is, a, I think, it's a potential dead end. I, I, I left the part I went to last time and got further with. I just saw a big explore. Oh, uh, okay. So I'm not, I'm not dead game. This is, I think it's, that's, is that rock blocking? I assume it's a block in the path. Yeah. Okay, so well, I can spoil know. that, I guess. I do know you do get a tool that lets you break that at some point. So did you, in your demo you played, did you get past the part with the telescope that got me stuck? Did you get past that yes. part? Yes. Okay. Although I feel like, I feel like the arrangement of this dungeon was different somehow. Like, I feel like I'm not remembering uh, a lot of what you're doing in terms of, like, just the shape of the level, I guess. How long have you been playing? No one can tell me if I'm crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he, he'll How just tell you if it's, it's like, no, it's the... How long ago did you play at his, his demo? Uh, it was before we started streaming, so... Oh. That's we haven't we done the show for that long, though. That's, why, a little we that's why we didn't cover that. Uh, been it's been over here. Oh my god, time flies. Yeah. I know I should poise, but whatever. Always oh, poise. Well, actually, to be fair, a lot of these enemies will, like, do something that's not an attack on their first turn. Oh, uh, okay. So I guess it's good. Yeah, see, now he attacks you. No, I guess he did that, so... I don't know what their AI is. It might just be like yeah. um, default RPG maker. Like, 
It's just totally random when they do shit instead of like. But I don't know. Oh, there is we go. Is that the juggle? It is the juggle. I think before I didn't realize the debuff wasn't was had a uh, like a, such a low percent chance of fun. I didn't realize. That. Oh. So now I, I tried. So that's a little bit better. I guess it's a little more tolerable. The other thing is I think you uh, I think you were using fire a lot to like end the to to do the juggle, and I think the fire just has low base damage or low starting damage. Oh man. I did also than... because of the awkward mana pools. I got 11 mana, so I did like 6 into 5. Yeah. Alright, you got him with it this time. I'm gonna die. Always on the verge of death. Yep. I feel like this heal is really weak. Please do good thing. There we go. Okay, now oh, the game okay. makes sense. Now the game seems reasonable. Okay. I just didn't realize that the debuff had 30% chance. I know it says it in the tooltip. Once I read that, I was like, oh, wait a second. Because I, I read I realized it afterwards, but, you know. I still stand by this way too much reading this game. Hello, uh, yeah. I mean, I think the 30% is pretty brutal. I know he wants to, like, yeah. statify the game because there's stuff that improves your uh, ability to apply stacks. Uh, um, yeah, 30% is pretty rough, man. That's pretty low. I mean, you know, all my all my stuff is like 100%. Because <laughs> I can't stand shit failing. I forgot to go. I didn't. Re I had to go back to the torch or whatever. That's that's even more T. And we have to go back to the torch of you. That's it. Oh, the torch. Oh. Oh yeah. Because you don't heal after combat. Nope. And you can't. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'd be nice if there was some sort of like. Out of healing system, out of combat healing system. I've seen other RPG Maker games where like there are more common healing items you get, but they only work out of combat. And that's kind of the, how they have an attrition system. That's you know more mobile, I guess. Yeah. And not like oh, I can just spam healing items in combat. That's something honestly I was thinking about doing if I uh, did another fantasy type game. How I could do the whole obsessive looting mechanic that I have. You just loot a bunch of bushes and stuff and like heal. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the problem I was thinking is once you kind of fall behind like this, I'm at right now. I did two attacks to try to get the chain and juggle system going and I just completely lost it all my life, Which I knew mm. would happen. But before I was doing the whole like constantly healing. Oh my god. Yeah, so it's like you fall behind so bad. Yeah, that's why I'm saying the healing is so weak. Because look at that. You only got seven hit points off of that? Like I'm not, I'm not poised right now. But... I could have I could have killed those chicken, but then I'm like risking my health at being an eight. So I go double yeah. action at my health. There we go. See there I got some damage. Okay, so now I can do this. And kill he'll die at least. Okay. But okay, to be fair, the juggle system, sure, it's part of it, but is it really that engaging? If this is the only way to deal decent damage, it's just going down your list of moves. I don't know. It's not particularly engaging to me. Yeah. It's like, I'm gonna do the I, exact I like... same thing to kill these guys. The exact thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do exact <laughs> exactly. I think it's also kind of rough as a single character game to have to do this. You have to spend your whole turn. Yeah. I feel like that kind of combo system makes sense if you have different characters who can play off each other. Sure. Yeah, look, look, I'm already completely out of con so I don't have to sit here and pull you. Know, I, gotta... okay. I guess I can auto-attack this guy and save some con this this day. Please die. Thank you. You know what I'm going to do to this guy? I'm going to cast three spells in the exact same order. <laughs> or no, I'm going to poison him. And then I'm gonna have no health. I'm, oops, I meant to. Whatever. I'm, I was gonna go before four chapters. <laughs> well, he gave you a debuff that makes it harder for you to stack debuffs on people, I think. So that's exactly what I want in this game, in this slog of a game. <laughs> I got it. Now I have to wait for him to hit me twice because my con piece too low. There we go, I got it. Never mind. We got a shot. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna have to poise again if this doesn't kill him. Yeah, so I'm gonna have to. We all auto attack in this way.
Nope. Auto attack him again. Oh my god, he healed. And I don't have the mana to do it. I'm one minute. Great, right next. Slugity, slugity, slug. What? That was still a slog, even knowing the system. That was still a slog. Yeah. It was less of a slog, but still a slog. Oh, am I supposed to chuck a fish there? For... Chuck a fish. Ugh, music. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> louder, get louder, Ram. Louder music. Ugh. I don't know why. Oh, it's a different spot. I went different direction. Oh, this is that, that fish is just lying in to get back. But that's yes. in this direction. Oh, I hope that doesn't reset your progress for that room. That'd be if it does, awful. Whatever. I'm hitting my end point anyway. <laughs> oh, is this gonna be another look around spot? Oh, oh no, it's a teleport spot. Yeah, Nowhere. Please do not take me out of here and glitch the game. Ah, more gifts. Hooray. Dirt. Hey, an exit. Wait, there's something up here. Oh, here we go. A switch. switch. Oh, oh. What that do? Wait, oh, oh, a torch. Right up here. So I'm guessing this is a boss fight coming up. Uh, you're a little quiet, by the way. Oh yeah, my. Oh, I was turning. I was turning away from my bike. There we go. Okay, I can do better now. <laughs> I was like, I, I put I had put the my food in the middle of my keyboard and kind of move it around. There we go. Oh. Oh, okay, shit. there we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa! That was an accident. Oh, uh, you know, because I'm supposed to get a, a thing for here. I don't mess up though. I can just jump back. I'll see what it says. I'll see what it does. A soft lock. Yeah, what, what does that mean? Yeah, messed up? Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, put me back in the beginning of the room. Oh, okay. Oh, it's a poozle. I wonder if that's just like a timer or something. Did you mess up? I don't know how you could have messed up. Yeah, it seems like I can just get back there. Well, I'm going to this, this way. It's still turned on, so. I don't know. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. Wait, what? How are you supposed to... At the bottom. Like, get back that way. Oh. Huh. Oh, I think I get it. Okay. Wait. I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh, yeah. Poozle. Okay. The Poozle. Oh, see, this puzzles. is actually decently enjoyable. Maybe this should be more of the game and not all that talking. <laughs> and slog fighting. But yeah, the whole mess up thing is, seems unnecessary because I guess, yeah, because he put a fish to get back. So why does it need the restart function? That's kind of pointless. Uh, I think it's if you use the fish to get to that middle section. I guess. Because then you'd be stuck. I didn't. I could have went right, but it looked like there was an exit to the thingy there. Uh, I kind of oh, want to go okay. explore the other side of it, but I don't want to rip. I don't want to like leave the dungeon accident. You know, no, I'm gonna go check it out. Whatever. We're, I'm, I'm, I'm. I think we're gonna wrap up soon anyway. It's almost two hours. Yeah. Yeah. If the demo's like eight to ten hours. Then we're not getting anywhere anyway. Yeah. Wait. Much oh talking. Oh, oh I can't, can't go back. back. Yeah. Okay. Well, I guess I'll explore the next one. Yeah, yeah. yeah I would probably say that's better anyway than backtracking. Yeah. But I am curious if I can leave the dungeon the way I the old way over there. Do, 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 do. I'm curious, but not curious enough to ever play this game. Oh, <laughs> God. Ugh. oh three people again. All right. I don't really want to do this, but I will. Because <laughs> I have to do the three stack. The jugglers is the one three three characters while trying to get my con key up. 
And maybe I'll. Oh yeah, I can't. Do, I don't have the double the double move anymore. That's right. I want to have the double action thingy, and then I can get two stacks going in my own turn, or, or do an attack and then poise and then do attack and poise. But I can't yeah. do that. So. So if I if I do this, they're probably gonna damage the hell out of me, and I have to heal next turn anyway. And then oh, God, yeah. I didn't even debuff them, so. I, could, I should use my espresso at some point, because whatever, <laughs> we're getting near the end of Yeah, I don't know when... I feel like they don't give you items very often, so I don't know... how to properly manipulate that. So now, because I didn't debuff him, I have to poise for like two, three action cycles, which is boring as hell. Oops, I didn't mean to God damn it. I meant to poise. <laughs> So I have to poise for, I don't know, two or three cycles to get another chance to maybe try hitting them with the debuff. No debuff. Excellent game. No debuff. You don't get to play the game now. Okay, I have enough to do the attack, though. Oh, I could have tried it. Yeah, well, I'm going to poise to get some mana so I can try to do it back to back and maybe kill the guy. Alright, he's highlighted. You got him. I'm killing one more attack. Yes, good. Thank God. And now I'm super low on health, so I'm going to spend the next turn mending. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that he has all those game options, but he doesn't have game options like... Uh, make the, let the player heal more. That's what I was thinking, or, yeah. Or, or do more like damage. Or lower the amount of health. That, yeah, I guess do more damage. Or either way, yeah, same same concept. Yeah. Which would it be hard? I mean, if he's able to do all his other options, it's like you just have either a switch or a variable, and then, like you just put on them like put on all enemies in the game like a passive. Uh, I guess this would be a Yamp Light plugin, a passive um, state that lowers their health, but it only turns on based on, like, what a variable is. Yeah. If you don't want to use Yamfly's leveling plugin, or reverse engineer that in order to achieve the same effect. Okay, so I'm gonna start, I'm gonna try stacking with fire to start, because it's the cheapest. Ah. That yeah, way. That's good. I think that's a good plan. Yeah, I got more shots out of him. Okay. He's healing? No? Yes, he's gonna heal. Thanks. He did heal. Oh, he's, he's got a hot on him. Hey, it didn't stack again. Wow. So this is actually playing the game right. This is the experience. Yeah. I wish you got more Once. mana. It's, it's really tedious to have to poise constantly to get mana. Like, I want to cast stuff. I want to do stuff. Yeah. Even the start of the fight, you start with zero, so you have to poise for like, the first two turns to be able to cast a spell. And attack is pretty much useless because there's no damage. Yeah, yeah I'm wondering, wondering what his uh, justification is here. I mean, I guess it could be like maybe there's good system design and like you get a lot of cool items that like ramp up and all the crap your character can do like if you had a hundred percent chance to put stacks on and you get double attacks and uh, you have more mana or mana builds faster like, there's a lot of knobs to turn here to make you oh you're gonna die oh my god all right well wait is it full yeah i'll be because i i didn't spend three Four turns poising twice and healing. I really want to take... Yeah. Okay. Oh, you're already in town. All the way in town. Wow. It sucks because I knew I could have just played it slower and poised three, to three, four more times and then healed twice. I could have done that, but I just didn't want to because 
I wanted to try to to find the the reasonable battle time in this, and I tried it there and I died. So, and he resisted uh, fire five times. I think it was five times. So, yeah. and then he healed a full one. So it's like <laughs> I could have taken seven more turns to. Like, so so stupid. Like that's yeah, not good sad. design at all. Sadly, I think that we're kind of out of time. We have to go to the scoring here. We're done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm. I'm yeah. I mean, I there's a bit of curiosity to go beyond that, but I mean, we've gotten to the point where he's we've seen everything that's wrong. Like, this is yeah, I'm pretty pretty disappointed in all honesty. Yeah, I'd love to see more of the game, especially more of the new stuff. I guess maybe I'll play it in my own time or something to at least see that other area. I'm down really? to if you wanna. Uh, out of curiosity, you, you record it or something, or we can stream it for a little bit. I, I am curious about a little bit, just, you know, I am curious a little bit, but it's just the the problem is so, you know, I don't know, this was ridiculous, this was kind of bad, like how long the fights were, and then like I said, okay, we figured the juggle system, and I go, well, I could take seven more turns doing two poises into a rotation, or I could go for the kill, and then it got me killed, and then, so that solution was what, take poise for five, or whatever, you know, I poise five more turns, and then resisted my diva five you know it's like, that's not yeah. good you know what i mean and and i because i once i figured the juggle system out i was like okay i want to give it maybe maybe my ttk has been wrong because i'm playing wrong let's give it a real shot and then i did and i died so which means i should slog again which means poise poise heal poise poise heal poise poise fire hope it hits like i could have done that i just didn't want to because i wanted to see if maybe uh you know i had a thought go back so. into that store where is that store over here just just to check something real quick is it gear we could have bought a lot of gear because, well yeah because we had that conversation where he's like oh is that a store wait what the hell happened i just i hit oh no yes okay latte i have 16 so numbers. i don't know if he explains i sure i assume he does if you if you talk to him but the items are over there oh i see so you, you know to too i could have click on him I forgot to uh, grab the use the espresso to full heal, so that was. But again, it's like that's the only espresso I probably would have for like. Yeah, it was three the only one you had. Yeah. Uh. Three three forty definitely can't afford it. Yeah, that's a lot of money. What? What so, are you supposed to? What? What? What are you supposed? Uh, what are you supposed to be able to afford here? Nothing. Everything costs three forty. Apparently. Discount, please. Yeah. Eighty percent chance to apply a win stack. So that's this is where your normal type becomes maybe not as completely useless. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one time, did I screw it up? I'm never gonna get one more shot. Is that it? Oh, there's no confirmation. Oh, is this not implemented? Uh, I don't think you have a present on you. It's weird that you're. Choosing that and not getting an error of some sort. I don't have the option anymore. I did have presents on me. I had a few. Did you? I think so, yeah. I don't know what that did, but... I don't have the option to do it anymore. I, I think I grabbed some of the dungeon, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. You died and came back here. Right, so you did have them. Okay. But you don't have nearly enough money to buy anything. It seems like things are really expensive. I don't know. What's... Well, okay, what's the thing that's shining over there? Where? Bottom right? Oh. Yeah, the sparkly. Sale. I'm like, is this something that's free? 220. No way. What a deal. Oh, no, it's just something that's literally on sale. Okay. So I will say, if we had to save in a dungeon, this wouldn't feel as tedious, because we would have been like a died and be like, okay, I'll just refight. But I don't remember. Maybe in the save thing, he's the save warning, he did. He said it's okay to nudge. I don't remember. Dude, too much dialogue in this game. It's not my fault. <laughs> and then. Yeah, again, I could have just... It's not that it's challenging, it's just, it's just oh, just keep poising and healing before you go for the kill, and is that really engaging? I don't know, whatever. Yeah. I am curious a little bit, but but I don't want to do it right now. I'm done. Yeah, we, so. we can't. We have to stop. Yeah. We have to go into the next one right. here.
All right, scoring time. Yeah. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. The problems, they happened. I will say, I feel, I will preface this. I felt I was a little bit more Joshy Joshy rude because I feel like I know Nolan because he re he, I read all his comments and he's, he's such an active participant. So in my head, I was like, ah, he's a friend of ours. We can talk shit, you know? So maybe I was a little bit rude. I apologize, Nolan, a little bit. But my complaints are still valid. I just was a little more extra mean because of it. <laughs> but I'm sure I still stand by what I... I still stand by the point of my messages. I was maybe a little bit rude. I apologize for that. But I'm, I'm going to be critical here. So, because we got to be, to be fair. Yeah, uh, I guess it's unfortunate that... I feel like the older demo would have been better for at least how short our... Uh... First impressions thing is, if my memory serves, because it just starts you in a dungeon right away, so you get to see... I mean, it's the same combat. I feel like nothing's changed, but maybe no one can correct me on that. Um, but yeah, then you get to do puzzles and stuff, and I remember that was kind of fun. Like, oh, there's, yeah. there's puzzles. This is like a game. There's the fish. Basically, you throw the fish down to do that, and then there's like a puzzle where you had to like... Uh, like fill lava or fill... I think it was filling lava, and then like you had to, like, get it to the right place, and then you could throw a fish down. You know, like, different components to create a path that you could get through. And then there was a really big part, too, that was really funny, because you could tell that it was a lot of work, because it was, like, this big stadium, and, like, this timer, and, like, you had to, like, uh, get all the best loot you could before the timer ended, and that then you had, like, the last boss. Um... It was almost like a roguelike or something that he had built. That was in the, and, the other demo? I'm sure it's in this game, too. But oh, we just reach it. it. It was at the end of the dungeon, so... Um, it's like... We, it would have been a long ways away. Potentially interesting things marred by 20,000 boxes of dialogue and uh, really boring random encounters. Yeah. Well, it's funny, because uh, everybody kind of hated his <laughs> roguelite thing, because it was, like, very punishing. Oh, <laughs> uh, I mean, I thought it was cool, but I, 
I definitely more appreciate the effort that went into it than anything else. Where it's like, wow, like, because he had like stands of people that were like bouncing up and down, cheering you as you went around, and like the music is like actually timed to so, like the timer, uh, in interesting ways. Oh, okay. So that was kind of cool that it, like, because yeah, he's like talked about how like yeah he's he made a song that's exactly however many minutes long, and then like evented things to happen at certain points, like at the exact kick point that they're supposed to happen. So, lots of cool stuff. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't see any of it, so... <laughs> <laughs> Too much garbage, BS, normal, overly done, bat- poorly done RPG Maker stuff in the way. Yeah, I can't understand uh, this, this combat. I guess, I don't know, maybe people weren't as hard on it. I mostly, last time, was questioning the math and kind of felt it was slow. Um, I don't, I feel like it wasn't this brutal. I, I don't know. I don't know where, why I'm thinking that. Maybe the heal was more powerful? I'm not sure. I feel like the numbers look similar, but maybe the enemies just have, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it felt really tough, really rough. Yeah. Um, and, uh, yeah, exactly. And like I said, I mean, I could have, outside of the mimic who, who was outpacing my healing, but yeah, everything else, you know, the solution was just poise more than heal more before you go for the kill. And it's like the longer you take the kill, the more actions they get, which slows the game down. I was like, uh. yeah, so, man, yeah, yeah. Uh, so as it stands, I feel like we can't really give it higher than like a three for gameplay. And you probably don't even want to do that. No, <laughs> <laughs> because. You know, two is the baseline, right? Generic RPG Maker. And then you add in those potential cool things, the little puzzles, you're like, okay, cool. Three. And then you go, well, then it took forever to get through talking. Fighting was all a slog. So it brings it back down to like a 2.5 or something. Yeah. So, yeah. I, yeah. I, with all the. And then you think about the combat, it's still very, you know, yeah, juggle system, whatever. But it's still very just ger- generic RPG Maker, right? So. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, I'm not. Yeah, kind of wish it was more. I guess I, I, I guess my thinking would be that it'd just be more simple and more like almost binary, where it's like, especially when it comes to trash fights, right? It's like, oh, you got a stack on him. Okay, do the other thing. Boom, he's dead. Like, yeah, exactly. Not, hey, you got the stack. Okay, now do the second stack. Okay, now poise twice and heal yourself. Okay, now poise again because you healed yourself and you're out of mana. Oh, he started healing. Okay, now try to do this. Oh, this now tr- now do the finishing move. Oh, it didn't. You know, it didn't apply. Or maybe you killed the third, and then it's like the next one. Okay, now try again. We'll poise another turn because you don't have the mana, and then maybe you're taking damage. Okay, heal again. Then poise twice again. Okay, then try f- applying something. Oh, it didn't work. Okay, it's like <laughs> wow. Yeah. Versus as you said, apply wind. It hits. Apply lightning. Mob dead. Right. Yeah. Basic. Yeah. Simple. Especially when it comes to trash. For trash, yeah, for trash, for sure. Bam, bam, bam. Wombo combo. Um, that's kind of what I would just think would be a more obvious way to do it. Um, maybe that's, I don't know, seems too simple, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't see the... I don't really see... I guess this is kind of where I ran into with the... I don't know if you remember the earliest versions of... Uh, automatic messiah where i had the same kind of thing where it was like you used to only get like 20 mana when you guarded and like yeah it, just, it took forever to fight things and i kind of realized like no this bad there's only one of you you must go faster <laughs> yep yep <laughs> so like as a result everything's like get a kill survive get a kill like <laughs> Seesaw battle, uh, but this is just, yeah, it's just like guarding, 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 guarding. Okay, now I can attack. Oh, it didn't apply. All right. No, I got to heal. Okay, guard three more, twice more. Okay. I guess the thing I've been thinking about, I've been thinking about this with Fallout as well, because um, there's this point I wanted to make about that game and why, um, because obviously that you can have bad luck where you, like, you miss, but, like, you can, like, invest into, uh, you can kind of, like, gamble harder by, like, shooting for the eyes and then get, like, a huge crit that, like, kills them instantly. Like, yes. that's kind of where I think random odds... That's what makes the game fun, is when uh, the random odds can do stupid shit that breaks the game. 
Like sure. then, then yeah, then yeah, you want to gamble and sh- go for something that has a low chance of working, but a potential, a huge payoff. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you know, this kind of falls in the same category where a lot of RPGs, where it's just like, you just have a baseline fifty percent chance to hit, and you're like, oh my god, I'm just constantly missing, getting unlucky miss strings, and you're just like, oh, and there's mm-hmm. nothing you can do to like change that. Nope. And your biggest payoff will just be the juggle system working as intended. Yeah. So it's not like you can get like some triple crit out of nowhere or something and save save a huge amount of action economy. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, meh. Yeah, and the other thing is, by the time, even if you did like three stacks, yeah, like by the time you did that, you've already done so much damage to them by using like the big spells. <laughs> you get a zero for narrative. What's happening? It's way too much dialogue. Now. I don't think we can do that. I don't think we. Need I know. I know. Did we, we even give Valid of Rattle? We didn't even give Treasonous Tom or Valid of Rattle off a zero. So that's I know. I know. That's I'm, I'm, I'm being facetious. <laughs> but I don't even care if the dial the the story is good because how it's presented is is beyond hor- horrific. Uh, yeah, there's some cutesy stuff I was seeing as we were clicking through it. So I guess that's something. But it's just it's way it's way too much and like. Yeah, the two the two cosmic beings. I guess they're not cosmic beings, but that's what it felt like. It felt like a cosmic comic story to me. Yeah, it's like what is the meaning of life? And the cosmic shit, beings like, arguing about you know philosophical shit, and you're in like the main characters just like what, like standing there. Um, that stuff kind of felt uh, not great. I guess I would say. Um, yep. That part was kind of the part where I was like the most like, oh, what is this? Uh, I think the cutesy talk was okay for cutesy stuff. Not that I, obviously, it's not my bag. But, you know, I kind of could see, like, I think someone might have fun with this cutesy talk. Um, Narrative. Uh, I'm counting it because there's way too much dialogue. That's why I gave it a score. Not not the, the it got to the point where the content just felt pretty, it was pretty generic, to be fair. You know, yeah, some cosmic beings. Talk to Storm Man. Uh, fiddle, whatever, is some young girl who, I don't know, uneducated or something, I don't know, she talks like that. Eh, whatever, generic. But then then it's presented in, like, the worst way possible, which is 400 boxes of dialogue. Yeah, that was a lot of dialogue boxes. Um, audio! Man, I'd love to give this a higher score, but RTP sounds. <laughs> I know, dude. But, uh, you know, hopefully, I mean, he might say, I'm going to get rid of them all eventually. I don't know. But you sent it to us knowing <laughs> we were reviewed in its current state. Yeah, how many times have we complained about RTP sounds in these videos? Like, Dude. He, oh, he had to have known what he was getting himself into with that. Yes. And I'm sure he agrees, too. I'm sure he wants to, as a sound guy, he wants to do his own thing. I agree. I agree. But, you know, we can't grade this based on a potential future. We have to grade it based on what's there, so... Uh... But then otherwise he had what music? He had music. The fiddle, the fiddle sound. Yeah, which was whatever. Uh, uh, there's some cool processing on like echo and stuff. There's some nice touches like that. But I don't know if this is anything like super exceptional. It's just kind of like functional. So I could probably put it like three. I was gonna say four because it's like knocked down from five, I guess, because of the RTP. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Uh... Eh, but, four's uh, fine. Yeah. I almost don't want to do three point five to split the middle because that's too many point fives. We we get a bad <laughs> habit of point fiving a lot of stuff. Not that it's yeah. a bad habit, it's just funny. I'm more so cracking the joke, but whatever. Uh, visuals. I, I mean, the uh, custom art of her, the main character, was great. I yeah, really, that was cool. You know, but she's the only one. Yeah, we'll see more of her at some point. But yeah, otherwise, it's a lot of RTP and the what was it. I've heard it referred to in the community as like premium RTP, which is like one of the tile sets that like looks better than RTP, but it like it's not the RTP. It's just one that's very popular, so like you see it a lot. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, but yeah, lots of stuff looked good uh, in terms of that, but it's like you know, there's cool stuff like that rain effect. I think was new. Um, and then there was custom art of, you know, like the menu screen for her and Yeah. Uh I don't know. I, I her sprite was was definitely especially all the little sway it was it was a high quality sprite. You know, if the whole game had her art style, it would look like a 
solid indie retro high quality game you know yeah but but she's oh, yeah. one sprite and the other visuals problem is that uh it's in like what like 1200 by 900 or something i don't know yeah yeah it's a fourth of my 256 by whatever screen yeah so uh so i don't know I, i'll let you speak first on this one i think because i'm kind of not sure uh man it, her one sprite can only do so much the rest of it was <laughs> yeah. JRB, it was RPG Maker. Um, well, don't be confused by some of those animations. He has some of the same asset packs as me. Those aren't RT, RTP. Actually, he also on the in the in-game battle. You know, he had the custom icons with the spells, right? Yeah. And, and then okay, I'll give him. I'll. I'll... Huh. Three or three point five. I'd say 3.5. Why not? Why not? This is the buddy point. There you go. Yeah, the buddy buddy <laughs> half point. All right. Mapping. You know, okay. So, obviously, it was pretty generic in a lot of ways. The town, the whatever. Three different directions. Technically, all... I mean, maybe the Mimic I could have killed if I did the job. But again, he, he was out damaging my heals. So I don't know. He had a ton of HP. Yeah, you know, because so the, the, the jungle system doesn't do that much more damage. It's not like 20 times, right? It's like double or triple at most. Yeah, yeah it's so. like adding one or two points of damage or something. I don't know. It's hard to say. We have to like map it out. I feel like at some point, I don't know. I, I feel like when I talked to him about this last time, he wasn't really interested in the math. And I was like, I feel like I could map out like the damage over turns and it would be like one way would be just better than the other um yeah but uh oh yeah I, sorry i wanted to add to the that um you know they had the fish mini game that was pretty cool yeah so i kind of liked it so i, I give it a oh my pusher talk is on my mouse that's why my, my it was highlighting stuff <laughs> uh i'm thinking and I'm talking far away from my mic. Let's see. Otherwise, though, it was just very, a lot of generic assets. 3.5. Sure. I'll accept that. All right, technical. We hit a soft lock. We hit a we soft hit, lock. We hit two no. soft, yeah, we got warned on a soft lock. We got hit by another soft lock. Yeah. Um, the menuing is not very good. A lot of technical issues. Some Obviously, the... it's a state. Transitions seem kind of like weird. I don't know if that would, if you saw it on your end. Yes, it like, flickered the screen for a sec, then did the fade in. Yeah, the stuff like that, or like stuff that was like zoomed in at the wrong place and stuff like that. Uh, couldn't save. Oh yeah, the save, save thing. The save the warning. Probably the biggest problem. Feeling like we can't save. It's like ah. So uh, let's see. She yeah, she wasn't really a t she she was an art asset, but she wasn't technically that impressive. Um, she had high. Oh, it'll be pretty low, dude. Right. Pretty low. Pretty low. Well, we didn't yeah. we run into the, we ran into the bug at the way end, right? No, not way end. What other bug? We, not the soft lock. Uh, there was a text box that was a little too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyway, yeah, it's gonna be pretty low, dude. A lot of lot of issues. Pretty low. Two might might have been higher, but yeah, it's taken down to a two. I think it's fine because of the issues. Uh, value. I don't know what this game is supposed to cost. I think it might cost at least ten dollars because no one's talked about like don't undervalue your game. So I have no idea what, but I haven't seen anything saying what it's supposed to cost. Okay, yeah, and I see what you mean. When I was like his avatar. Yeah, it's that's Shadow Man. Shadow right. man. Fidel can talk to whatever, break obstacles. I'm reading the I'm reading the I guess I could put this on. Oh right. Anything bad there? Nope, more food. Break objects. All I saw was it's a commercial game. I think that's the only thing. This the game will be a commercial game. That's the only note I see about that. Honestly, if you know, fixing the technical bugs, which I assume he will, and then getting a lot less generic art assets so a lot of the game i guess is going to be rbg maker art but if he could get more custom art in it i don't know and, and it's like an eight ten hour game i could see it being decent you know what i mean yeah but you know it's hard to say we don't know yet we don't RBG know maker forum ah, what is this july 8th 
Let's talk about the game some. Okay. Anyway. Fidel Castro. Her uh, her sprite is really cool. I like her sprite a lot. But it's the only good sprite I like. The rest are RGB. Alright. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Suggest the price. Uh, what is our suggested price? I don't know. I, I guess, guess is that how it works? If we don't know what the price is, we just say what our suggested price is and then <laughs> score the value based on that. We have some question marks, so I think that works, yeah. Because uh, you don't know how long it is, right? put in here. It's like 8 to 10 hours. I don't know if he means that's the whole game or the... Oops, why did I write 9? Or the demo, this giant demo. If the demo is that giant. I mean, it could be based on all the talking um, and how long the fights take. Indeed. All right. Well, uh, I nine question mark. I I mean it's hard to say because again it, it can't be released with all these but issues. Well, that's the so. that's the price. I I don't know. I didn't feel in suggested price yet. Oh okay. I mean, assuming he fixes it all up, and assuming Fidel is the only custom sprite, <laughs> uh. And assuming it's what eight to ten hours, if it, we'll just assume that's the full game. I believe he intends to have more custom sprites, uh, but not. I don't think everything in the game is going to have custom sprites. I don't think. Okay, I'm going to say two ninety nine. Two ninety nine. Wow. But you, if you want to pick something else, you can. I was going to say five dollars. I was. But, that was my uh, second opinion. Was five bucks. I guess the length. Yeah, I think for the length. Five, fine. We can do five. We can do five. Points. And for having... Because it's like the dungeons are very different and they all have different puzzles and stuff and different mechanics. And That's true, cool. actually. I, I would have really enjoyed, I think... I could have enjoyed... Not that it was like they were super in-depth because I'm more of an action platformer player. So, you know, running around and doing it was not the best part. But I do like puzzle games, too. And if it wasn't for these super sloggy random encounters... Yeah. I would have actually enjoyed figuring out the puzzles more. But, you know... It's like, oh, the other, the boring part of the game gone, you know, I mean, it's argu arguable, but it's like, oh, the super generic slog, super generic RPG maker slog, sloggy slog, because it wasn't even just RPG maker slog, it was like more sloggy than general RPG maker slog, gets in the way of me trying to enjoy the game, it's just really dumb. We've, we've had that like, same criticism with a lot of other people, where like, there's a game here, and you just cover it up with generic RPG maker combat, you know? <laughs> it's like, there's a, a game we actually like out here. Yeah. So. Yeah. I don't value. Know value. Uh, I'm feeling. I'm feeling three. Three. Whoa. Oh yeah, because he says nine dollars. Yeah. Well, we're assuming he's gonna say that. Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I guess he'll chime in. He might say twenty dollars, in which case. Yeah. And he he's gonna know his that value <laughs> score is dropping to a one. All right. So I'm gonna be maybe a little biased. Uh, I think I'm gonna put C minus minus there, because I am uh, I can't like ignore future knowledge that I have of like what comes in the game, and it's like cool stuff. You cheater! But, <laughs> but you don't have to score it that way. It's uh, so weird because I can tell there's effort and quality put into it, and there's so much meh. It's, yeah. you go, you know, oh, cool, this juggle system page, explanation has all this custom art on it. It's like a cool light. And then you play, and it's like, oh, RTP, outside of the cool, you know, debuff effect, and the fight's super boring. It takes forever. And poison, you have to poise constantly because your mana is such a stingy resource. And I'm like, oh. And then I go, oh, Fidel's sprite is so cool. <laughs> and then it's like, oh. But then everything else is RTP. And then, and then, oh, custom world. Oh, but then the rest of the world RGP. And then, uh, oh, music. And then RTP sounds. And then, you know what I mean? So it's hard for me to, hard for me to, to really, yeah. I mean, uh, based on the way you're acting, though, it sounds like an F. <laughs> no, 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 no. I, and what? Part of me wants to because the dialogue is the the amount of dialogue was way too much. But that you can fix that right by just reduce removing a bunch of it. It's not like a fundamentally huge broken problem with the game. You just can choose to cut out a bunch of the dialogue. That's true. Everything everything that we are complaining about is very tunable, including the combat. Right? 
Yes, yes. Well, to be fair though, the combat is also even if it was fit, less sloggy, it's still boring as hell. To be fair, yeah. right? It's still generic as RPG Maker. It's just less boring. It's less of a slog than it normally is. So, I think be, I think but be okay, if it was snappy, it might be. Yeah, it could be. So, yeah. And then other than that, yeah, that's that's tunable. It's not like fundamentally super broken. But then even if all that gets fixed, it's still a pretty generic RPG Maker game. Fidel is like the only custom sprite I saw really. I'm sure there was others, but like whatever. Most of it, 99% of the game was was you know RPG RTP. So, you know, because some of the thing fixes me this little bias because we you know we know him and giving him the benefit of the doubt that he can tune a lot of this stuff in the future. I will give him a. D plus. All right. Avoiding the F. Not a plus plus. You don't get weak send. <laughs> <laughs> it's whatever that rap hip hop song was. Yeah, the weak send was a very, very clear idea. It was very executed. I almost feel bad for giving it a C minus minus. What the fuck is so much talking? There, that's my best. And I heard Nolan Chan. Yeah, Fidel. <laughs> Fid I was gonna say, we are we gonna talk like he he wrote di like his dialogue for uh, Fidel. <laughs> he like, oh, why so much talking ye or whatever the hell. He no. <laughs> just just teasing him because he lives in Japan. That's all. Yes. <laughs> and, and he made, has a game of like Moe Tiny Girl. Castro. Fidel Castro and the Cuban Missile Crisis. Yes, Castro was uh, a bad person. <laughs> All right. All right. Uh, I guess we should wrap it up. <laughs> Castro was a bad person. Okay. I didn't yes. see that you wrote that there. I want to write Fidel Castro something, something, but I'm like, I don't know the NSA is watching. Sorry, NSA. We're not actually communists. <laughs> it's just a joke with this game. I will keep calling her Fidel. I don't care. If he wants to change the spelling of Fiddle, then that's fine. But as long as it's spelled Fidel, I'm saying it is Fidel. So. Yeah. Cool. All and right. also, uh, yeah. I guess that's it. I guess that's it. That's all we're able to do. Uh, sorry we didn't get farther, I guess. But, I mean, what else could we have done? I don't know. Doesn't Soft like... locked or reloaded and went through 20,000 boxes of dialogue again. I mean, maybe, yeah. You know, I will say, maybe we could have tried saving in a dungeon and maybe it would have been fine. But... I don't, I don't remember the dialogue. By the time I got to the point of the watcher save, where you save, I was so burned out on dialogue, so yeah. I didn't read it. But it, I, re I, I skimmed it, and I remember it saying the only place, you know, the, the safe places to save are in town, I think. But yeah, whatever. Yep. Yep. And we got a soft lock. That's not my fault, so. Yeah. All right. Yep. Uh, see you guys next time, yeah? Yeah. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.